It's a very special Halloween episode of Thursdays with Rob and Paul. Rob and I are getting into our costumes. We have Judy Greer from Halloween Kills, the number one movie in America, talking about the movie that Rob and I haven't seen. And just everyone be cool and don't tell her. Also, John Gemberling from Broad City is stopping by as his character, Matthew Stoffelis, which is kind of a contemporary of the Crypt Keeper and Elvira, although Rob just doesn't get it at all. Eben Schletter does a live theremin performance to the last song in The Shining. It is beautiful. It is magical. Plus, you... In costume, that's right. Everybody from our Discord is showing off their amazing costumes. And Rob and I get to talk about the brand new Halloween Bratz dolls. Yeah, there's Halloween Bratz dolls. Plus, we get to reveal today some great ideas for all of you to dress up at Halloween. So stay tuned and watch Thursdays with Rob and Paul right now. Rob, Halloween show. I'm the ghost of Rob. Oh my god. Oh my god. This what the fuck? Oh god. Oh no. Oh god, the baby. Oh no. Get out of here. Paul, it's just me, Paul. Oh man, you got <laughs> it's me. just me, you got man. Me because, you know what? Because look, I didn't know because I didn't know what was gonna go on because you know, you and I talked about <laughs> it's our big Halloween show. Yeah, yeah. Welcome yeah. to Thursday with Rob and Paul, and we were gonna Welcome. come in costume and and I and and it you know and I, I was trying to guess your costume and I got all confused but you know we're we're here we're ready to go I'm I'm obviously in costume I'm in costume too I'm wearing you know the Halloween orange and black um, and that was the ghost of this cutout is actually do you remember the movie um, where famously you can see a ghost called Three Men and a, a Baby Three Men and a Baby Yeah so this was um, the uh, baby. That was the was it that that was actually the ghost baby. Yeah, that was a ghost baby. Wow. Uh well, I mean, I don't know. You want to maybe try to guess like who I am? I'll give you a hint. Uh okay, hold on. Mm. Okay, start. Go ahead. Are you start? Are you doing it? That was it, yeah. Oh wait, do it again. I wasn't really all right. Oh, uh Shrek. No, I'm not. No, I'm not Shrek. I mean, Shrek, Shrek is green and it's an ogre. I mean, uh, uh, this Ooh. is like I'm in almost in a full. I'm gonna give you one more time. Ready? Oh, Hold do it on. again. Do it again. Yeah. Wait, is this what you're what you're dressed up as now, or who you're? Yeah, what be I'm dressed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not doing an impression. I, I'm 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 in okay. full costume right now. Okay. So here we go. Okay. Okay. One more here. One more here. Ready? Here we go. Okay. Uh, oh 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 um, that guy uh the guy that um. Kim Kardashian's dad that passed away was it um... no, Robert Kardashian? No, yeah. not Robert. Him? Rob, oh. I can't believe you're not getting this. I am Shel Silverstein. Oh, of course. I didn't recognize your costume. I did yeah, I not mean, recognize good... your costume at I all. Mean... That is great. I wasn't fully in my costume, but now I am. Okay, uh, let, let me, me see. let me let me finish yeah. getting in my costume. Um, let me just kind of clean up a little bit yeah, yeah, yeah okay sure. let me um let me try to do this um uh, let me try this yeah okay i'm in my costume okay wow um hmm i was people are saying like anderson cooper we know we know okay huh wait this is all right it's not is it because i mean i would immediately like i mean my first gut would be like it it's got to be you know it's got to be anderson cooper you know it's got to be that but uh, okay hold on it's actually good. Hold on. So you're the hand to the, like maybe you're like a like a, a patriot or like a. Hold on. Let's see. All right. You know, you, hold on. I just, huh. Are you 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 are you are sure you know you almost like oh damn hold on ah I messed everything up. Uh, you're sure you're not you're not Anderson Cooper. Like that's we're not doing that. That's not Anderson Cooper. Um, very close. I will give you. I'll I'll, I'll give you a hit. You're okay. very. You're oh, on the right track. Mike Pence. Um, politically, I can't, I can't do it. I, I, I mean, I, I, okay. it would actually be funny. That's a good call. I should, I probably should have done that. Okay. Like, uh, like zombie Mike Pence or, you know, something like that. Or like Ellen, people are saying Ellen, uh, who said Ellen, who said Ellen in the chat? I mean, what it, the you know, fuck, you know, sometimes like Ellen, uh, uh, you know, okay. uh, <laughs> someone says uh. these, 
Aziz, uh, no, I'm no. in my costume. Okay. Um, yeah, all right, all right. All right, one, so, all right. I will say one person has gotten it. One person has gotten it. Yeah, I see one. Uh, all right. Should I mean, should we? I mean, I guess, should we reveal it? I mean, what do yeah, you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. All right, here we go. Uh, I'll give you well, a hint. I'll give, I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. I'm in the biggest movie right now. Oh, wow. All right. Uh, the biggest movie. Uh, Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds and Fall Guy. No, 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 no. Okay. Right. It's, uh, it's not that. It not is not Anderson Cooper. Oh yep. my God, Rob! Jimmy Lee let's Curtis. Get, let all right. Let's get let's get a side by side here. Uh, hold on, it's not me though. Side by side. I got to figure out how to get it back to the other side by side. Hold on, if we switch over like that, we go like this, and then I think we can get a. Yeah, that's that is good. That is really really great costume. Great costume. Thank you. Uh, I love it. And that. she's in and she's in uh the biggest movie right now, Halloween Kills, and we have the other star of the movie, Judy Greer on. And yes. Paul, uh, we we can talk about this in a little while, but uh between me and you, uh I have not seen Halloween Kills yet because I wanted to go see it in the theater and I just haven't But see, when I Judy when Judy when Judy comes on, obviously we're going to do what every talk show host does, which is you just pretend. You pretend because I, I was I was counting on you to go see it. I because I couldn't afford. I thought peacock. you would have. I, I thought for well, sure I just, you would see. Do I get peacock? And I love it. I, I love I love, I love Halloween. I love Halloween. I'm friends with with the director David Allen David Allen Greer David, David Allen Gordon, Greer <laughs> David Gordon Green David Allen Greer is also a great friend of mine. You just but, wanna, you just want a Tony, yeah. But, I know, okay, yeah. But, uh, but I have not seen Halloween Kills. But when Judy comes on, we'll gonna, pretend. We'll we have I, to stick. We to will it. pretend, and and okay. we we understand. We we know when uh, we're, busy. we're busy. We're busy. Yeah. And also, yeah, we're on. gonna get it. It's it's not like I don't understand what is gonna happen. Like I know, yeah. you know, basically he's gonna come after them. Mike Myers is trying to kill. You him. You can't and, kill him. You can't kill him. I mean, no matter what, him. Halloween H two O. To Halloween kills. They didn't kill him. They didn't kill. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all they there. It's all him. there. Can Sorry, I show okay. you my costume one more? I want to do one yeah, more. Yeah. Can you show? Can you? Can you show the one of? Can you? Do you have the picture of all three of us together? Oh um, yeah, yeah. Let me, me. I'll do this. Yeah, yeah. Let me. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. But show me. Show. Yeah. I wanted to see if I. I like this together. Yeah, that's great. I think that that's a pretty good. I pretty think good it's great. I think it's great. Yeah. And I'm a big fan. I love uh, the giving tree. I love where the love sidewalk the ends, you know? And of all course, you know, you bring all the heat here. I mean, there, there it is. is. I mean, there it is right there. Look at it. Beautiful costume work. Wrong. Thank you. Now, let me ask you a question, Rob. Uh, yeah. Did you see that picture of Jamie Lee Curtis run out and get a black shirt and then do it? Because I appreciate the commitment to it if you did. Someone, you know what it is? Um, someone, people have been saying on the internet that I now look like Jamie Lee Curtis because of my gray hair and my glasses. Yes. And so I just embraced it. And uh, yeah, I got a, I, uh, you know, it's not a big deal. I, I, I can afford a, a, a new black shirt. So a I went to the black shirt. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, I went to, I went to, guys, so, I yeah, went to black could've... shirt city. I went to black shirt city and tried oh, on, man. you know, a lot of different ones. And uh, so that's how, Yeah. So I just, I'm embracing it. You know, people say I look like you. Ellen, you know, it's fine. Oh, I'm going to tell you that I'm, I'm already, I'm very much in the Halloween spirit. Our house is very decorated. I've been playing um, my favorite tracks. I have like, I listen to Halloween music. I'm driving the kids to school in the morning. We're listening to stuff. And I, I don't know what your favorite one is, but my favorite Halloween track is, uh, have you ever listened to this? Um, it's like kind of um, like the monster mash. And this is a whole tape. Uh, another it, one yeah it's called uh listening to the wolf man take a piss and other uh jury drainers it's kind of like all it's it's basically like um it's like a novelty album of dracula listening to different monsters um taking a piss like there's side one is wolf and you play this you, you you'll you'll play this in the car with your kids on the way to school yeah yeah they, i mean they they like uh on side two there's a uh invisible man which is like kind of ambient piss Okay. Uh, yeah. So and, and all the like, pisses yeah. sound, uh, different. Yeah. Well, there's the mummies trickle piss. There's, uh, the Frankenstein, which they, they say is a huge piss warning. <laughs> that is, yeah. 
Man, that's really great. Can you can we hear any of that, or do no, you not I have it queued up? Okay, I think it's okay. Maybe we don't a, have the rights. Uh, we don't have the rights. To rights it. issues. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, but yeah. I mean, it, but it does say right in the cover: Dracula is a freak who listens to piss, and this is his personal library. Of yeah, all the monsters pissing, and this is like you know, it doesn't get as much play because I think there are longer, <laughs> they are longer tracks than like Monster Mash. Like some are four to seven minutes. Wait, this the the now is there music or is it just the you sound of pissing. monsters pissing? So it's yeah, literally it's, just toilet sounds. Well, you'll hear like the mummy go uh, uh, mm. door closed, Kush, and then uh, and then you hear the toilet go, uh, you know, and then it's like then you hear a little bit of the unwrapping and then the piss and then the flush and then it's over. But you know that one is a longer. That's a twelve minute one because the mummy is like it's almost like the character in Green Mile, like the Tom Hanks plays where he has trouble peeing. Um, we have a great show. John I gotta Gemberly, say, man, yeah, yeah, I gotta say this is this might be more show than this audience deserves. Because I mean, and you yeah. know, I know you, you know, you always. I feel like after the show, sometimes we'll do a little debriefing. People don't know this, and we'll text each other about the show with our producer Molly, and right, right. You know, we'll just sort of talk about, hey, that was great, that was a lot of fun, and then. You know, a lot of times Molly and Paul come down on me and they say, you know, you really can't um, criticize the audience so much. And I right. say, you know, don't you guys fucking yell at me. You know, I'm going through a tough time and, you know, I'm, you know, I'm out here in my garage and, you know, yeah, you're getting really, you know, and, yeah. And, but, but my point is, is that um, I, I'm, I don't take any shit from this audience. And I feel like you kind of suck their dicks a little bit. I, I don't suck. Well, don't say I suck their dicks. And if I did suck their dicks, it's not I don't mean literally. Deal. I mean, yeah, okay. it's not a big deal. But Well, um, here's what I'm saying. Like, we, have, we have a great show. The audience will be a part of the show because tonight we are doing a Halloween costume contest. I can't wait. I can't wait. That, that, that'll be, for me, that will be a chance for the audience to redeem themselves. Right now in my mind, I kind of, before a show, I, I, I imagine the audience as a hostile crowd. That's yes, how I, uh, that's how I approach it. The art and of so, war is the book that you read backstage before you yeah. go out on stage. Yeah. And so then, um, but the costume contest will be a real opportunity for the audience to kind of win me over. And, uh, well, and then I'll, I'll start liking them again. Well, okay. Again, big show tonight. Judy Greer is here. John Gemberling is here. We have the discord costume contest yeah. and we have a special musical performance by Eben Schletter. Eben Schletter, if you don't know him, is a brilliant composer who has uh, composed things for Mr. Show to Kroll Show to SpongeBob. Mm -hmm. Like he has yeah. done everything good. We're gonna get into it with Evan at the end, and he has a, a brand new Halloween album out. Did uh, he do this song? Did he do this song? Um, do 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 do. That, 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 is, that is uh Ray Parker Jr. Oh, by the way, uh, Twanch performed. Yeah. Uh, that song at his preschool <laughs> this week. Did he really? And uh, we went great. to go see it and he had a utter breakdown the minute he got on stage. It was oh it, it's so he gets chip off the old block, so, huh? That's it. He gets I mean just like freaked like out when he got on stage. Goes, yeah. We'll do it live. We'll do it <laughs> live. Um he missed a cue. Uh -oh. And it just spiraled him down. And every time that he's gotten on stage in the last couple of years, he, uh, it's not many, but he's had like these really traumatic stage experiences, but he loves to do characters and perform. And he does like, he loves being up on stage, but when he gets in that position in front of people, forget it. So I guess he doesn't yeah. love being on stage, but he wants to be there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He had a total breakdown. It was, That's... it was, and then I was in that zone where I'm taping it. And I'm also like, I do want to tape this because it will be fun to have when he's older. Yeah. I don't want to do, you know, yeah. but uh, yeah, it was, it was just, it was the worst. And then I went to go uh, hold him as I'm prone to do, you know, I, I, I charge you for a hug. Yeah. What, what does that mean? Like you, you why do you, I, I've never understood that you make money off of your kids. Every time you hug them, you have them pay a little yeah, bit of money. Hug, kiss, touch, any sort of thing. And so what I do is we have a uh, college tuition fund and then I will then itemize uh, certain touches and then I will put it in. I don't, a, I, I, I don't love the way you're saying that, but, uh, but keep going. Um, okay. So yeah, I will itemize uh, the touches and then I'll take that out and put that in my account. But anyway, so uh, I'm going to like, I'm going to, you know, like I'm, I'm hugging him. He's like really upset. And, uh, and the parents are there and, uh, I go to sit down on a swing. Cause I wanted to kind of get out of the mix, but the swing was so low and he was so heavy that I misjudged where the swing was. 
and Uh-oh. totally ate it. I ate it. Uh-huh. I fell right in the sand uh, with him, which seemed to actually cure everything because me falling down with him in my arms made him start laughing maniacally. And I was like, okay, great. That, that was worth it. Tonight is about celebrating Halloween. Tonight is about embracing all of our traditions. And I know that you and I, this is actually really special. Uh, I didn't even tell you about this because when we were growing up on like the local channels, they had these like monster movie nights and yeah. I loved these things. There was a guy um, when I was growing up, his name was Zachary Lee, and he was like lived in a, a crypt. And uh, of course we love Elvira. Now she's back. But I know that you and I one time we bonded because we loved uh, Matthew Stoffelis, right? Uh, he, oh, yeah, you know, yeah. Like, yeah, kind of a, com- yeah. Matthew Stoffelis is like this fun kind of crazy ghoul uh, who used to host these great movie nights. And I had Molly reach out uh, to his people. I guess she found him on IMDb. And, you know, Elvira is making a big comeback right now. And I thought maybe Matthew Stoffelis could have a uh, comeback here tonight on our Twitch channel. So Molly, without any further ado, can you please bring in Matthew Stopolis? Wow. Oh, Yay! 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 Wow. Yay! <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> so spooky. We, oh my gosh. Oh this gosh. Is such an oh. honor to have you here. Oh, oh my gosh! You used oh. to, I, I, we, I watched you every uh, Friday night, late night, doing your the spooky movies. You got me oh. into scary movies. It was so great. Oh, thank you so much. I bet you just had a scream of a time watching. <laughs> watching. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. Oh my gosh! Oh, it's so good, That's man. Great. Oh. That's great. I'm sorry. So I, I I'm not um, just because I didn't grow up in the same area. I'm not as familiar. So is it a werewolf? But what is the um? I don't know the Hawaiian shirt oh, wow. and and all that. He's a, he's a ghoul. It's just sort of like a fun, scary movie night. It's sort of a you know there's a it's a party. It's a weekend. It's spooky. You don't take it too seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I meant like your actual like your character is a is a werewolf or but I'm the ship that the sailing Rob, cap. Be, Rob, be cool. Just well, there's teeth. There's, there's it's, vampire, right. yeah. you don't ask Elvira what the deal is. Is she a vampire? Yeah, is yeah I don't know what she is. Is she a prostitute? You don't uh, know. Well, yeah, I mean, it's just spooky. It's okay, it's spooky, Rob. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm we're getting off on the wrong foot. I but the I, whole uh, idea is like he like he is the best conduit to the monster movies because he's also oh, kind of like a monster. Yes. Yeah, fun. I get it. I'm a monster. Yeah, yeah. Kids are up late. It's fun. It's a little yeah. spooky. I get it. I get it now. Now I get yeah, it. It's fun with the mo- yeah. You don't have to yes. know what he is or like. like he doesn't have okay. like rules. You know, I get it. I get it. Him. I think. I think I was thrown off by the beard and the vampire. Like I thought immediately he was a werewolf because of the beard. The beard and again, is this a beard. Is, Do you think the beard's a beard? Yeah, people I, have beards. I'm slowing it down, and I didn't mean to slow it down. Um, no, I, I, now I get it. I get it. I get it, and I'm, I'm on board. Bleeding from the eyes too. Is that unclear? I, I thought that was lipstick, so I am glad you. It is that lipstick, up. but it's red. Right, look, what do you what what don't you get, Rob? I mean, this is like this is like <laughs> classic one hundred and one ghoul shit. Like he so he's why on a sorry boat. right? But why would he have a? Is he sailing on a boat right now? Yes, or is he, okay. yeah, yeah, that's okay. what happened, right? Or okay, something okay. like that. It's fun. It's like vacation. It's yeah. it's party time. It's the weekend. Okay. He's wearing a fucking Hawaiian shirt. He's yeah, having yeah, yeah. a good time. I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. Yeah, he's in a I get it. Now, I get it. I get it. Yes. I'm on board. Well, let's a, we'll edit. Let's agree that we'll edit all this out later. And then when this airs, it'll be like, hey, there he I is. It's live. It says live. It is. It, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It, it is live right now. It is live. We're going okay. live. You can't just edit it out. Again, Rob, we're just... Like, well, like in the chat, someone said, is he the captain of a ghost ship? And that's a great question. Sure. Yeah, okay. yeah great. Great. Okay, sure. great. What, what, okay. What, what, does that do anything more to help you with this? Well, uh, because of... Honestly, it, it is fun. You keep saying how fun it is, and I, I love that. It is fun. I'm having fun. But the, 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 the Hawaiian shirt... Um, it's with, vacation. It's a party. It's like Caribbean, but it's scary. 
Yeah. Did, okay. Did, did you see, did I get did, it. Did, yes, I said, I said it. That's funny stuff. Like, you saw totally when he said that. Like, it. I, I bet you had a screaming good time. Like he, My yeah, name is like Matthew Stopolis. I know. I get to it. Be taken seriously. I'm not. I'm not. I'm having fun like everyone else. I'm having fun. I didn't yeah. know. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. I'm having fun. I'm what having you, I just I bought on this guy that I like. A t-shirt? Uh, well, no, I will show you my costume. Wait, here, let me, let me, Paul, will no, you show my costume? Matthew, yes, I will. Matthew Stavlis is not going to like this. Okay, oh, hold on one second. I'll show you the costume. This is, this is Rob's, this is Rob's costume. Um, here it is. Wow. She's not um, wearing a t-shirt. She's wearing a blazer. Okay. Wearing a blazer. Okay. Look, if we're going to, again, I, Rob, I brought out Matthew Stavlis because he's somebody that, we, that I grew up with. I yes. thought you you him and and I, I have heard you put effort in. I know. I how little effort I put in. I, yeah, I I think that I didn't um I didn't understand how uh the power of Paul's nostalgia for this character. You know, I think I underestimated I mean, that. Just, so. Elvira, everyone's everyone's losing their mind over Elvira lately. She wrote an amazing book. Talking about her time in Hollywood and Great, let's, let's talk about Ma you Matthew book. You don't need to view book. me through a lens of nostalgia to enjoy what's going on. Yeah, he's still a monster movie. Honestly, host. I, I feel like I've really um, ruined uh, the, what's at least. What's going the, on? What's going on with you? Are you in a corrugated shack? Yeah, there Are you go. You yeah, abducted. You look like you're in like a, yeah, like a UFO not, uh, well, documentary not, that Jonathan Frakes is hosting. Why don't we try to right the ship here, uh, for lack of a better m metaphor? Uh, you know, let's just let all that go and have fun. So, how are you, Matthew Stoffelis? What, Good. What's, and and uh, tell me what spooky movies have you seen lately? I can't believe you fucking embarrass me like this in front of. I bring on Matthew Stoffelis, the the demon captain from the deep. And you okay? So wait, so he, so 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 just to be clear, he's a demon captain from the deep. Not so he's not. A, so he's not a vampire. Shallow, shallow bone fishing waters of the Caribbean. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's it's what. A party. I, that's, that's what I guess. I guess it's like Jimmy Buffett. Yeah. Okay. He's like Jimmy it's Buffett just, meets the ship changing. captain. It's, it's changing because. You go watch Jimmy Buffett and go, wait, are you really on vacation all the time? Oh, is a shark really biting your head, Jimmy Buffett? No, it's okay. Okay. Head. Well, okay. That's a good, better analogy. The Jimmy Buffett analogy, I get. I think I just got thrown off, honestly, by the cape and the teeth and the blood because, because you're not a vampire. You're, you're okay, a. So, oh, so you've ever, so you've never seen a vampire without a cape on. Um, or you only see van like, am I, am I like, wrong? I feel like I got to ask the audience about this. Am I the only one that was kind of confused by it? I mean, it's whatever not... you want. Okay, and great. If it's whatever I want, demon, it's a vampire. Okay, okay, great. But the so, point is, it's fun. It is I'm fun. I'm having fun. Yeah, I'm having fun. So, what, having fun. yeah, I'm having We're fun. Afraid? I'm having fun, and the kids, the kids must love you. The kids yeah. must love you. Yeah, yeah, and, and is it kids like little kids or is it like teenagers that are the? No, audience? it's teenagers, teenagers who are up late on the weekend watching horror movies. Hey, hey, okay, hey. so you say the weekend just to, to kind of bring me up to speed. Is it Friday nights and yep. Saturday nights? Friday, okay. nope. Friday. What night. does it make a difference? What does it make a difference? He's just the school tomorrow. The Stay up late. Watch a movie. He used to do like fun 3D things, like you know he'd have like a pool stick and be like, oh, oh, oh yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, let's see some of that. Let's see some of the oh, uh, glasses. It's yeah. You know, I mean, all right. Do you have uh, anything? You want to see some of that? If you have any, like yeah, any fun props or oh, okay. Oh wow, look at the deck of cards. That's great. I feel like I mean, we're I feel like... to fail. I feel like we're setting him up to fail now. Well, I think if he had committed to the card thing, then it would have. Uh, played a little bit better but um okay here we go there's oh, something good. oh 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 <laughs> oh hey <laughs> the rope just wow that's hey, great that's, wait hold on a second how do you do that wait no what <laughs> oh it doesn't work it's broken all right okay um all right let's stuff like that 
We'll we'll okay. take some questions from the chat. Uh, Wandering Frog asks, uh, "Do you go by Matt?" What kind of fucking question is that? Who can Why are we? Why are we getting so in the weeds about this? You can well, Paul, you, you know, want. Paul, you know what it is. I think that other people, myself including, included, pound for pound, didn't understand this. Um, pound for pound. Pound that for was pound. It, last week. I used the expression yeah, right, pound for yeah. pound, and so I'm trying to. <laughs> I was trying to shoehorn it in here, uh, just because I'm I'm struggling here. But I think that myself and everyone else didn't know who this character was and, right, and we I, were I got, good, now, to I, I got i got a good question now, now be, you know I, this is why we show a clip before honestly if you'd send a clip matthew we could see you in your studio don't, don't harass, don't show. Harass. Oh, people would don't get harass. a sense of the how long you've been doing it and you know oh i've All had six, are just vhs and dat tapes and stuff you don't have anything on YouTube or anything digitized. Nope. You watch Joe Bob Briggs and go, why is a cowboy with sort of a light Southern accent uh, have anything to do with movie nights? Yeah. What is he doing in the trailer park? And why is the fire on all the time? Is he watching a movie in a drive-in, but he looks like he has a home? No, but if, uh, here, he, here. if he were going on a talk show, they would show a clip of his show. No, they wouldn't show a clip of a clip show. People get it. He likes scary movies. All right, here's a good question. Here's a good question here. Uh, all right, this question is, uh, what is, this is from P. Monkus, what is your favorite blood type? What is my I mean, favorite I, I, blood I, type? Now as I read it out loud, Ooh, it's very hard. What a spooky question. Oh, okay, 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 he likes My it. favorite blood type is... Oh, no, a monster. <laughs> great. That's yeah, great. No. That's great. Oh, like that. yeah. Pretty great. Yeah. And can I ask a question? Are, are there highlights in his wig? Blonde highlights? What? <laughs> it looks like there might there be are. blonde. Yeah. Okay, it's great. Sun it's sun Yep, okay. it's sun drenched because we're in the Caribbean. Okay, yeah, yeah. Fishing, yes. remember? yeah. Okay, <laughs> yeah, you're bone, bone fisherman gets, yeah. Yeah, it's very Double simple. Sun. Okay, and uh, vampire and... can't go out in the sun. How's that possible? It's not. It's made up. It's what it, it's. It's what you got. Though. It is what it is. What it is. It's and what it is. And what do what do you eat if for dinner? If you can't find a blood to eat, what do you eat? Oh God, Rob, what are these? What, what do you? I'm yeah, trying. To... Who cares what we eat for dinner if you can't have blood? This is like a playful. I'm I'm asking playful. Yeah, questions. yeah, no, no, I get it, I get it. Uh, I eat a a scream burger. Okay, all right, a scream burger. Well, you know, yeah. you got you got to ask some fun questions. Like, hey, uh, hey Matty I heard that you um oh, once okay. was the you once were a referee for a fight between. Uh, a zombie and uh, and a and a mummy. Like what what happened there? Who won? You know, I don't know. I'm 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 now going on. They now both, I'm like I couldn't. They fought and fought and they both got dead tired. <laughs> great, <laughs> great. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, That's you see? yeah. And then That's... the mummy wrapped it up with uh, <laughs> a one yeah. two. That's because the wolf man maybe had to go howl at the moon or something. Again, this is like the fun. This is the fun stuff. And look, he's not normally on for this long. So you're nope. actually putting him. Oh, like, the you know, show like, is shorter than 15 minutes. It's, it's a no, movie. No, 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 I'm he, just introduced. It's just tops and bottoms. It's just. Yeah. Little, yeah like before. I see, he, like, I see. When you come, like the movie stops. And yeah. He's there. And he's like, oh, wasn't that? And I don't mean to do you, Matthew. And the is there. Stop. Is there. The camera anyone holds else? up for the time it takes to cut to commercial and then come back. I got it. I got it. And so and then he'll say, Ooh, that was scary. And then you ever have on. other people uh, in the studio with you? Are there other yeah. characters that come on? Like, cause yeah. I would, I, I wouldn't mind coming in there as Jamie Lee Curtis. And uh, you know, I could do, I could do a funny, uh, you wouldn't fit. You wouldn't fit into the bone. Fa it's a very specific world. He's in the bone, fa the Caribbean. Like, what, Jamie Lee Caribbean. Curtis doesn't go on vacation in the Caribbean. Like, I'm sure she has been like, I could do she that. Could come in. As a celebrity guest, I think it would be strange to have you come in portraying Jamie Lee Curtis. Does that make yeah. sense? That's not... If I you're going to have a character come in, it should be something of a horror theme. Okay, I know honestly, they're saying I'm not totally yeah. horror, and that's weird, but it's got to have some element. 
Yeah, honestly, right. though, you're not going to get Jamie Lee Curtis. She won't do a, 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 a I know. access. Well, believe but, me, I'm aware. Okay. But why did you make him feel bad? I mean, look, did you ever see the Crypt Keeper so, have like yes. get the, the yeah. Crypt Keeper like bringing on like Hugh Grant to have like a, a chat? You know, like oh, and tonight right. the, the Amelia Clark from Game of Thrones. No, the Crypt Keeper is like uh, spooky, spooky, spooky here. I get it. I get it. People in the chat think I don't get it. I do get it. I'm on board and I is love it. Is the Crypt Keeper a zombie or is he a skeleton that has a little bit of flesh on him? Is he right. animated by magic or? Yeah, like yeah. what's his deal? Yeah, I yeah, I'm on board. I'm on board. Why be in the crypt? You can walk around. Why not go have an apartment if you're alive? And right. the crypt, is, is, he, is he keeping a crypt? Like what? What is it? Uh, is film in that crypt? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Or yeah. is it just bodies? I don't know. If we we don't have to ask these questions. All we have to do is like a yeah. suspension of disbelief. You know? I didn't it's mean to. Like I didn't mean to ruin it. I mean, it is our our annual Halloween spectacular show, Paul. And I feel like I'm kind of. You know, um, I, I'd love you to move, move past for me. my initial sin of not knowing Matthew Stoffelis and just, you know, keep going and Matthew have fun with you. Stoffelis. Yeah. It's okay. Matthew and Mes Mephistopheles combined. I wasn't say able to go to the production meeting this morning to read everyone's name that's coming on the show. So I. Everyone? Um, I think you got three people coming on the three, show. Three. That's it. Three. Yeah. All right. I my in, my wife's parents have been visiting, and they left like five minutes before the show started, so I wasn't able to see the name of everyone who's. Let, let's just let's just engage him where he's from. Let's engage him in a, in a bit. Like, Great. all right. Uh, yes. What's your favorite Halloween candy, or or do you have like a what do you give kids when they come to your door? Oh, I give them. Uh... Um, you on the spot. I didn't mean to put uh, you on the spot. Instead of Butterfingers, Severed Fingers. Great. That's great. No, I felt that was a little slow, but okay. That's but, great. Uh, and what 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 Halloween costumes do you think are going to be really popular with the kids this year? You know, there's been so many great movies and TV shows. Um, you know, I'm sure we're going to see a lot of uh, really topical um costumes out there you know we'll probably see uh squid game you know costumes we'll probably see um somebody in the chat said reese's peanut butter cuts great okay, yeah. that's better great yeah captain bone crunch people are saying the cereal yeah i'm giving I mean, out captain, cereal captain bone crunch i don't know yeah i don't i mean i said I mean, it, if yeah. nothing make, if, you know Everything makes sense or nothing makes sense. You see how yeah. you go down this road? Yeah, yeah, of course I do. I so do. I don't know. What do you want me to do? You, you want me to say a costume joke? No, I was just genuinely making conversation about what you think the hot costumes are going to be this year. Oh, okay. Now it's genuine. Okay. Uh, maybe. <laughs> this guy is. You pissed him off, Rob. I did I mean, piss him off. I, I honestly, it seems like there's a little bit of like an alcohol or a pill problem or something going on. Jesus Christ, man! I'm pilled out. I don't know, man. I don't. I don't know what's going on. I like Paxil. Just, what? For depression. I take Paxil for anxiety. You're gonna make I, fun of that? No, I'm not making fun of that. I'm saying like, is there some sort of addiction to like? You know, OxyContin or, no, or don't, don't accuse this guy of that, Rob. He's a cool. He's a he. Look, he's a fucking actor. Okay, this is a gig that he gets every year. He comes out at Halloween. I'm just trying to do a nice thing and put him out here because yeah. Elvira is getting a lot of the press this year, and I felt like Mathis off of these guy getting nothing, and we should okay. just be embracing him and like putting him in the forefront. Well, you know. Well, well, I'm asking you again. Pretend that the first ten minutes didn't happen. 10 minutes. It's been 20. It's been 20 minutes. It's a long time. God, man. I mean, we're, we, uh, does this guy know about Amaranth? A A Amaranth? No, I don't even, want, I, 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 yeah, I mean, do you know about know. ASMR stuff? ASMR, do you know what that is? What, it's, like uh, people eating into the microphone? Yeah, yeah. There's a woman on Twitch that, a uh, very sexy woman that does that, and she's, Always on at the same time we are, and I so sometimes we'll swallow a small pumpkin and 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 may have. Well, we normally check in on her, but she's not on right now. But normally, if if we have like a weird pause, you know, an awkward pause, we'll just click over to this woman who's you know 
half naked and you know licking the microphone and and it'll kind of get the audience juiced up and then we'll I come like back that. no don't, yeah. don't, 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 like we don't need see that okay, okay. Yeah, Matthew, then i don't want you to get into the dirty stuff matt this is not yeah i don't want to get the Matthew well stuff just show him do you want to just show him i told you she's yeah, not yeah. on she's not on yeah you know i don't have it i don't have describe, it describe tell me tell me more about it she's naked no no, no. yeah well i no, mean she's not, not naked. naked she's like but she's very um She's got a very, very beautiful body, and she's always very seductively dressed. What are you doing? Okay, and, now, now uh, you you're know, getting. She starts him. licking the microphone. She starts going like. Oh, oh. Okay, this is. Wait, weird. I, don't I don't like where this is gone. I just wanted to bring out a classic, classic character. And now you're getting him the all. Microphone. Yeah, but I'm not going to do it if you're, you know, getting you're off. You're cranking on him it. up right now. I don't need. You really said you do it to get the audience aroused. <sighs> I'm getting aroused. I'm doing, am I wrong? I'm doing what you asked me to do. You said, come on and do little puns. You said, get yeah. aroused. I did not say get aroused. I said, come did on. Tell them to get That's around? part of what I no, do. I, Nobody says, hey, Elvira, why are you pushing your tits around all the time, shaking your ass, okay. making little innuendos? It's a lot now. of crossover. There's crossover I don't want in what I do. I don't think that you're a sexual character. I thought you were just a fun Halloween character. I throw in gratuitous sex stuff every now and then. Yeah. I, all right. You know what? This is a mess. Bender over the to... bender over the tombstone. Okay. No. Okay. No. Okay. Yeah. No, get, get, rid like get rid of him. Get him out of here. Get him, get him out, out of here. here. Yeah. Man, I'm sorry about that. I, I, you know, I couldn't. I couldn't be more apologetic. Um, I really. That, that, that was somebody I really meant something to me as a child. I'm so sorry, Paul. I, you know, you've been talking about that interview for a long time, and it got off on the wrong foot, and I couldn't get it back. I could not get it back. I just couldn't, and, and I shouldn't have accused him of being addicted to pills or alcohol. You know and, what? Let, let's just let's just let's just let's just maybe have one. Uh, well, hold, you know, like let, let's. I mean, what was the best yeah. case scenario for that interview? Is, I, I guess is what I'm asking. Like, was he gonna, um, you know, was he gonna come on and and make? You know what, I, puns I, wanna, about I just wanna, yes, he was gonna come on and do a bunch of Halloween puns and said like Reese's, Reese's peanut butter cups and I hope we're having a scary night and do like fun goofy stuff. You know, maybe eat okay. popcorn and it's scary. Here, look, maybe give us a recipe for something fun to make. Uh, let's just bring on one of the people that does d does a costume contest. This is this person uh, we all know. Can, her I, name can, is I, just say, can I just yeah, say yeah. Be before you bring Molly on? Yeah, you booked Matthew Stoffelis, local yes. cable host, public access, public yes. access, yes. not even real cable, cable, public access. That's Indicated. who. You, that's who you booked. I booked Judy Greer, one of the. Show one of the best actors in Hollywood in the biggest movie in Hollywood right now. So that's what I brought to the table this week. Okay. And yeah, I we haven't that. seen the movie. Sure. That's we haven't seen the movie because we're busy. Say that out loud. Weird. I know. Don't, don't even say that. She's not here yet. Okay. When she comes on, we're going to And remember act. chat, you guys, like we cannot let the show go off the rails. The chat has to get our The back. show will not go off the rails. The first segment of the show went a little bit south. That was my fault. Everyone in the chat, please act like you've seen the movie. If you haven't seen the movie, Paul and I also haven't seen it because we're busy. I, I will see it. I love the movie. I love the franchise. I love Judy. I've just been busy with other things, but okay, we're going to. And Daisy Barksdale just said that I'm now bringing that. Now everyone's saying I'm bringing it down that I you did. That, you did bring it down. You did bring it down. But I was there. right now we're let's, in, let's, we're in survival. We're in survival clean. mode. So let's save let's the show. clean. All right. Obviously we have our first costume contest person here uh you know her as our producer molly uh molly show us your costume yeah perfect so obviously and, I'm, oh, obvi anderson cooper that's it no. that's it exactly uh yeah. actually no, no no leslie nielsen sorry oh uh, <laughs> and uh Wait a second leslie nielsen's famous uh pirate dog <laughs> Matthew Stoffelis. Yeah, yeah, Molly, yeah. Wait, wait, hold on, Molly. Let get back to your pose, Rob. Get back to your pose, okay. and let's 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 bring it all up. Here we go. That's me as Jamie Lee Curtis and I Molly as Anderson Cooper. I yeah. I love it. Uh, <laughs> really great. So good. 
Uh, really, um, really guys, cool. we had a daughter of Brissy Joe was had a costume on, but decided <gasps> last minute not to show up. But oh. I do have a picture of her, so I just wanted to share. If that's okay, okay, we'll show this picture, and then we'll bring out our second guest here. Yes. Um, okay, so here she is dressed uh, up as Rocky and as uh, Moana, Moana, and she has a little video for you guys. All right, here we yeah. go. Halloween Oops, sorry. I oh. had the audio off. Hold on. You have to hear no, it. No, we heard it. We heard it. We heard it. Oh, you did? Oh. Yeah. She Play said, it again. Halloween Robin Paul. That's lovely. Coming all the way from oh. Australia. That's amazing. And you know what? I think the show has gotten off. I, I think we got the show back on track, Molly. Thank you for bringing the show back on Thanks, track. Thanks, Molly. Yeah, and I think we should be riding this wave because I just yeah. saw in the green room, Judy is here. Okay, and she's here. All right. Now, so so now again, again, again. So, so, so let's not get um, caught up in, in traps, you know, if, uh, yeah. so just I will not, don't, don't be, be vague, you know, let's ask vague questions, uh, about the movie. I mean, all right. So like, let me, you know how to do it. I mean, I, I can get, I, I know all this. Stuff. It's like, I mean, it's like when you run into a friend and you go, Hey, what's going on? And like, they're on a show that you haven't seen. And, and you I have say, this, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. It's so good. But you don't, yeah. you really it's don't like, it's like when you talk way. to me, it's like when you talk to me about transparent, you know, you're like, Oh yeah. yeah. Like, oh my you know, gosh. You're so good. Yeah. I heard about yeah. black oh, Monday. Yeah. It's like in black yeah, Monday. Exactly. Go, yeah, oh, exactly. black Monday. Monday. Yeah. So, uh, but our next guest, uh, she has been on the show before, by the way, oh, yeah. we are, I think almost, I think we just have a year mark. We've been doing the show because Judy was on one of our, our first shows back in the day. Yeah. Um, and we have, she is absolutely amazing. You know her from like some of the biggest, most classic films, 13 going on 30 Ant-Man. 27 dresses she's in the brand new uh halloween movies the new the the great ones the david gordon green ones your buddy yeah. david allen greer and uh <laughs> she is you know and she has been on an uh, archer and kidding also a showtime show uh you know showtime stay strong and uh but just been in everything uh she's in everything hilarious. she's great. always a uh, wonderful uh please welcome judy greer yeah hi judy <laughs> welcome judy how are, How are you? you? Um, I'm really good. Great. Are you in Are you in New Orleans? Is that what you, t- where you told me you were? I'm in New Orleans, and I can't even tell you how many times I had to try to figure out what time I had to meet you guys. Yeah, that's a tricky yeah, one. It's, it's tricky. hard. It is time tricky. zones. Oh. Because yeah. New Orleans isn't even in the like you can't just do the the quick. It's three hours ahead, right? Is it like no? I think it's, in, like, yes. it's an in hour theory, and forty five minutes, right? It's, it's, it's about weird. An it's not hour even exactly thirty seven minutes ahead. <laughs> I yeah. like I I think it's easier to add two to something than three, but just I'm so used to three that anyway. I'm so yeah. happy I, I made it. I set many alarms. I had thank Molly. You. I had Molly oh my text God. me. Wow. Uh, I was like, Molly, I I wrote in the email, I'm going to sound like an asshole right now, but can you remind me tomorrow? By the way, that's no, everyone, everyone does that. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great, it's great yeah. to get that. And I'm happy that you're here and that you're even calling in when you're out of town. Are you, wor- you're working right now. I imagine you don't live in New yeah. Orleans. She's probably no. shooting. Are, are, l- let me guess. You're probably shooting like a, some sort of Oscar movie. Like what are you <laughs> shooting? I'm going to go with Emmy. Um, oh, I'm shooting no. a mini series and I am sorry. It's a mini series. It's not a limited series. Cause thank you for saying it. Thank yeah. you. Thank like, you. Why do we have to change the name of it? Was it offending people <sighs> that it's like, no. like, is the word mini upsetting? Like why can't we just. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let me was that what it was? Like- was it, was it was offensive to, to short people? Is that what it was? I don't know. I don't but know. I was like, I remember the time. It was probably ago, and the term limited series was a thing. And I was like, I, I might be wrong, but I think that's a mini series, right? Like, isn't that a yeah. mini series? Yeah, it's a mini series because it's a, it's only one chunk. It's a limited, makes it feel like a limited edition, but it, but it's just a mini series. I mean, I grew up on like I love the mini series. I love the mini series. Dude, and I, yeah. I think what they want to do is they don't want to tell you it's it, it may never come back because sometimes when you have like a, a limited series there's a it, it's finite it's like well that was the story that we told but they want to keep it alive like well maybe who knows maybe we'll yeah this off i think that's just a trick that they do to actors to it's basically <laughs> to to fuck over actors like you might come back if i feel it, fucked over i feel yeah. like i'm like wait and i'm yeah. like am i are we doing this or not like man <laughs> yeah. yeah but um but what's, what's the show about 
It's about a murder. Ooh, perfect. Um, it's about a real life crime. Uh oh. Wait a second. I know. Also, Are you playing a real life person? Yeah, that's all I play now. I have come back from the pandemic and I only play real people who two of them have been dead. <sighs> this person is alive. Um I'm playing this terrible woman and her name is Leah Askey and I don't even care if she is watching this right now because she is a bad person. <laughs> she murdered okay. someone. You, yeah, she murdered no, someone. No, she, well, she might have. She, okay. just put, she just put the wrong guy in jail for it and she doesn't oh. even care. What? Um, and by the way, Leah, if you're watching or listening to this, like free yourself. Talk to us. Talk to yeah. me, and I will. Would you want I will to, I mean, set the record straight? Yeah. Now, would yeah, you yeah. want to? Besides the fact that a innocent person is in jail, and that this could have repercussions to free this person, would you ever want to meet the person that you are playing, or do you feel like it's awkward? Like, is it like a little? That's a great. That's a great yeah. talk show. Talk show question, Paul. I know I'm practicing on you guys. Here's my answer <laughs> to you guys, but is yeah. that what I will say to Jimmy Fallon? Yes. That fucker who will never have me on his show. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know what, Jimmy Fallon? I don't even want to be on your <laughs> he show. Put someone in jail too, and we're gonna bring him down. <laughs> I'm gonna take them all down right take now. Take him down. Um, the truth is that I will say to you, who are my actual friends is there's like a lot less work I have to do if I never meet the person or talk right. to the person. Right. Yeah. If yeah. that person wants to be like clearly represented and factually represented, then yeah, like I need to spend a lot of time working on their mannerisms and all that stuff. But like, this is my interpretation of this person based on yeah. like watching videos and, and like it's based on this Dateline podcast called The Thing About Pam. Mm, and... I bet my wife has seen that. My wife watches Dateline all the time. Oh, yeah, I'm sure she has. My wife listens to the Dateline podcast, yeah. which is just <laughs> the Dateline TV show that they just right. recorded off the TV. It's not even, it's not even like, I guess there's two, but this one is oh, just. She just listens up. to the show, which, by the way, also, if you have like Sirius XM and you like ever want to go on the like <laughs> yeah, H, yeah. the HLN channel, like the headline oh, yeah. news channel, it's just the same thing. It's just. CNN TV, like it's just mm -hmm. like someone holding up a recorder. Yeah, like it's like what I used one to of do those when hand I was recorders. Kid. I was like, I didn't have a VCR, so I would just audio tape movies and then be on the bus. Like, this is cool. I'm listening to a movie. I'm listening to a movie. <laughs> anyway, that's what I'm doing in New Orleans, and it is two hours ahead of you guys, and one Man. hour behind New York City. Are you I having New oh, yeah. Are you having like New Orleans fun? Like when the last time I was there, like <laughs> I was like, I don't know if I can come here anymore because it's so fun. There's so many good restaurants and like, or is it the opposite now because of COVID? Is it all like you know shut down or? No, actually, I feel safer here than Los Angeles because you oh, can't. Great. I can't go anywhere without showing not only my vaccination card but my oh, ID wow. to go with it. Yeah. Like they wow. don't, you can't, you can go into a store and shop with a mask on, but yeah. like if you want to go into a bar or a restaurant or anything, you have to show it. And they also, they do let you show like a PCR test with like a negative PCR test within the last 48 hours or something. But like, so it's that or that, but they're strict. I mean, they're really strict. Oh, wow. That's so interesting. Wow. I would never have thought that. I know. And I still haven't gone inside except I went into one restaurant because I went at like 2 PM and literally I was the only person in the dining room and I was like, I guess I'll sit inside. Um, but uh, for the most part, I've still been sitting outside, but no, I haven't gotten in much trouble here because I'm like so boring these days. I am not drinking and I am vegan. And so it's just like, yeah, that's okay. a, that. I mean, by the way, you're probably mm -hmm. taking care of yourself better than you would be if you were not those two things. Well, those yeah. rules help me a lot here because I've definitely worked here where like whole weekends have just disappeared. Yeah. You know, well, and you like, you knit a lot too, right? Aren't you really into yeah, knitting? Yeah, I was yeah. actually waiting for you guys. <laughs> yeah, yes. the scarf for my good friend Lucky Yates, who's on Archer with me. And I promised him I'd make him a scarf for Christmas. So awesome. let me ask you this because I am ultimately like a pescatarian. So I'm I'm living in that life. Or do you find it to be like 
can you order in consistently or you have to cook a lot? Cause I feel like I look at, I'm basically eating the same stuff a lot if I'm ordering in and like, you that. know, like I wanted to, yeah. kitchen. I have a little kitchen. I rented an apartment and so I just make all my own food. You bring it in the little containers. Oh, to work you mean? Yeah. No. Oh, at work yeah. they make me vegan stuff. Okay. And it's nice. not just me. It's like, um, they have lots of options. So like they always have some kind of like rice or something vegan like they always have right. like a grain and then they have yeah, it's fine and i also eat a but is pam of, um, what, what would pam eat i mean can you eat what pam i mean if pam is eating meat you may have to eat meat mm, at yeah, we don't know well, we, we should talk to pam i mean pam is being played by renee zellweger and i could try oh. to get her to do your show oh um, sorry oh i didn't mm. you might not want someone of that caliber no we don't there. want anyone no we don't want anyone no. like that no <laughs> Um, can I talk? Can we talk about Halloween Kills? Because yeah. um, Judy, you are in the biggest movie in the world right now, and I, I want to ask. Um, well, I want to talk about the movie because Paul and I saw it, loved it, went love crazy it. for we it. Love, love, yeah. love, love the movie. Oh my gosh, but the best! Before I get before I get into that, because I do have some questions about the movie, but um. Because yeah. our whole what? chat, actually, every side said, if, you, if you're going to be here tonight, you have to see Halloween Kills, and everybody has been, seen it, so they're all, like, you see the chat right now, they're like, everyone's, seen it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. In the comments, everyone's talking about it, yeah, but, um, so but it, um, what, I just want to know, first of all, what does that feel like to be in, like, the biggest movie? I mean, it's <laughs> got to be, what a crazy experience. Um, well, yeah, I guess it hasn't really hit me because, um, I feel like I just came right into this job and I've just been so focused on this job. Um, mm -hmm. But it's pretty cool. Like I, I remember saying something to my husband on the phone last night, actually like, Oh, I'm so glad that they gave me a rental car. And then he was like, you're in the number one movie in like the world. Like, how does that feel? <laughs> and yeah. I was like, I don't know. I'm just really thrilled with the Kia soul. Like I didn't know I would like a Kia soul, <laughs> but like, and he was just like, babe, like, do you ever think about that? I was like, no. But then do you get a call. Do they give you a call? I've never been in anything that has been like the number one anything. So do you yeah. get does somebody? Does somebody major call you and say, "Hey, guess what? We did it. We got. We got. You know, you did it. You're you're in now." Well, or no. Yeah. Well, I get emails from my manager, okay. and my manager gets better. emails from studio people. So I would I would like Mike yeah. Myers to call you on a Zoom and just be like, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> that's my that's my other question about like sort of the the behind the scenes of a horror movie because I uh, the only horror movie I ever did actually Paul and I did a movie that was um, with Tom okay. Lennon and and Ben Garant um, in New Orleans. We actually shot a movie there called Hell Baby, but it was more of a comedy movie oh, than a horror movie. I, I remember that one. Yeah, but um, so I always wonder, like, in a real horror movie where it's like straight up mm -hmm. horror, is it at all spooky? Like, are you do you ever or are you buddies with the guy that plays Mike Myers, so it's not scary at all? Well, yes, we're all like buddies and we have a ton of fun, but like, it still is a little like so, like what tell me tell me your favorite scene in the movie and i'll tell you uh, if it was scary oh in in the current one or yeah. um okay okay the, let me um, um this is a good question okay okay, so the, okay i so, love my favorite well, the last movie in the last movie they that was that when they had him oh in the house, yeah right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. The, the the last that one I, I mean i don't don't even get me started about the last one i mean when that kid's uh in the backyard and the lights are coming on and off and that kid's sitting there and then mike myers is like coming closer and closer I know. that was I know. I but that was the, the, i know that was great that was the like that was the 2018 one yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah well yeah, yeah. We're just so this the, one yeah, yeah. yeah this one is yeah. I, I would say my the, the, favorite one in halloween the, kills or like, the, is no, when, like the, the scariest oh okay the scariest uh, one scariest. for me honestly Honestly, is when it's super dark, right? right. And it's like nighttime, yeah. and uh, like you're there, and uh, Jamie Lee Curtis is there, and then like your daughter's outside, there. Outside, yeah, um, yeah. It was, uh, was it that? was it was inside. It was no, mostly. It was, place, it was like um, uh, it was it, it was it like a, an aquarium. Mm. Yeah, aquarium. when you guys went to the. It, 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 is it like what's no? It's not that. It's a different term for aquarium. It's like a the hospital. Uh, hospital. The hospital. The hospital. Yes. It's aquarium for dead people, uh, for, for sick people. That's on it. Yeah. Right. Aquarium for sick people. Yeah. At the Are hospital. Because there were so many windows everywhere. Yes. And that I, I always, I always think of everything like, um, like Slaughterhouse Five. I'm always looking at everything like, oh, we're, because the movie is like a, a, 
we're watching humans. I didn't humans. see Slaughterhouse yeah. Five. I read it. I, I didn't see. Like, I read it. I read it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, the again, hospital scene. That all that stuff in the hospital was to me so oh. scary. So I'm wondering if are you at all? Are you just a good actor that you can, you know, show how scary that would be, or are you actually like I don't talk to the guy behind the mask because I want to save that uh, that scariness. Yeah. Like, cause you remember how in like Michael isn't really in the hospital, right? Oh, he's oh, oh he's not he's not in it. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Before he gets there, or um, did he? No, they the thought, remember because they think the other guy they get it wrong. The, oh yeah, 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 they, 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 yeah, yeah. They get it wrong. Yeah. They, oh no, spoilers. No. like because like, for people who haven't the team, yeah. I mean, yeah. Don't ruin it for yeah, other people, but yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I don't, that's why I'm trying to be careful and not be like. What yeah, no, I, I think like... I think honestly, it was. I think what I liked about this movie was I loved all the characters from the, the... 2018 one, and it'd be like, okay, well, you guys, you know, some of you were back, and that was really fun for me to be like, oh, this is my the the crew is back, or not all of them, some of them, <laughs> and yeah. and that was fun. I you like know, fun. I, honestly to me one of the highlights of the new one for me was um, there was the running where everyone's like running away from him, you know, yeah. you're running, um, or, or at least you're. you're when well, I, you're like you're you're. I, was, like, I don't know if you're running, running. Was, like, making him chase me. Yeah, I mean, you're definitely walking fast or running. I mean, whatever you want to say. Like when but I like, have the mask and I'm like running and oh, what? chasing no, me. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that is yeah. it. That is it. Yeah, you, yeah. You I, you. I was like, that wasn't as scary as those crazy, insane crowd scenes. Oh, those crowd and scenes. I know that the crowd scenes like. Because Michael wasn't there, but it was no. Well, that was, was was scary. Yeah, about it. but right, look, yeah, 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 I mean, yeah, can yeah. we did just say guys, yeah. Jamie guys, Lee Curtis is amazing in it? She's so good. Did you want more of her? Um, I I got just enough. I thought yeah. I had exactly the how right amount. Did you feel about how my husband's death was handled? Oh, oh, I uh, was respectful, offended. Was respectful. I was offended, respectful. but in a respectful way. I was offended respectfully. Um, yeah. What, what, chat, what, 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 what chat? Do you like what it, was the chat saying? Oh, Let's see what the chat said about that. Uh -huh. What did Chats the chat say? A lot. They, they, they like the place. They like the scene in the place. Oh um, yeah, and Loomis. Really oh, Doctor Loomis. God. And, oh. and people were like, Are uh, they talking about flashbacks? Um, um, it doesn't, they don't say, it, it doesn't say if it's a flashback. take you guys out of it? or It didn't. You, it didn't. I, it, it, they like the it, running. Unless that's what David running. Green wanted. Mm -hmm. If if David wanted us to be taken out of it, then yeah, I was taken out of it. But then people like the mask. I was, I was pushed mask. back into Were it. Were oh, you guys, did you see it in a theater or at home? Yeah, uh, both um, ways. Both ways to be safe. Twice? I did see it twice. I saw it on Amazon uh, or Hulu. Um, oh, I saw I it on. Think, um, I saw it on Apple TV. On your Apple TV. I saw it on um, on Netflix. Is mm. where I was. I, I believe it was on. Was it on Netflix or because yeah. at the theater? I, I did see it in the theater originally. I mean, like literally right now, you could have Googled or your producer could have Googled where it was streaming, I, and then I, you know, I, would, I would be talking more about this first day. Kind of drink. like secret chat. I'm sure that only uh, you guys can see. Silver Shamrock was it? Would it? Say, but it Here, was streaming on. On we did see it. The point is that I saw. It. I don't remember the platform, Judy. No offense. Um, I mean, we don't. But well, there's to... only one platform you could have seen it on, or you right. could have gone to. Which one TV. was it? Voodoo. Uh, uh, oh, Tubi. you know what? Here. Uh, here, you know what? You know what? I it think I like Peacock. Judy, I, Peacock. I, that, yeah, that's exactly what it was. We just got I, Peacock, and I got it. Uh, I, I, think, I watched. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's on Peacock, and I watched that, and I watched the I, Office. I agree with I, you know. I kind of agree with what you said, Judy to sci-fi.com where you said it was it, oh. it is beautiful it's a beautiful finale <laughs> and oh. uh and that you know and i agree like i like you your ho your hope was that the audiences were upset by the ending and and i think honestly i i, I feel like we we got some of that and How um did you feel about the ending i thought it, it was a really sh scary shock ending and are you crazy. going to want to talk to me when i'm doing press for the next one i 
uh, can I, 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 I always I, want to talk. I gotta, to I gotta call this out here because it sounds oh, to no, me, Judy, no, like no you drop. don't think we saw it. Gina. And if that's the case, we wouldn't have you on the show and we not these, see the we movie. Have kids, and we just—I'm going to come clean, Judy. We didn't see it. We no. didn't see it. the chat didn't see it. I mean, it's the number one movie. Judy, Judy, like Judy. It Judy. Does feel I'm going like to see it. I we could have talked you. about a lot of other things. We were doing great until and you, you brought have... up. You brought it up. You brought up Halloween Kills, and I well, said, I Joe guess I was coming. just surprised oh, because we're. Look, let's just be honest. Like we're friends, but we don't have to see everything we all do. Yeah, I mean, like we, yeah, we but, work a lot. Yeah, but, but I would think that like it's the number one movie in the I mean the country for sure. Like why are why are you guys and you could watch it from your own home and it's Halloween season and yeah. you seem to like David Gordon Green. I do. He's. I did a pilot for him, and he's a friend. And he I've texted him a buddy. Too. He, he invited me. Called him. He called him a buddy, but then he referred to him as David Allen Greer. So I don't I even did. know. And the, 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 <laughs> I did. I got. I got a bit of a brain fart, and I called him David Allen Greer, my friend David Allen Greer. But <gasps> Judy, like, Judy, the reason you're a friend, you don't call him by somebody Judy, else's I was, name. Judy, I was going to see it, but I was in a terrible tractor trailer accident. Shut up, really. And, um where yes in do you know where the 412 connects that's a made up, with, that's a made up road the no i mean the i was like near lancaster it's out near lancaster really and why were you in lancaster oh boy, to go see stop, the movie i was just, so you just call this, like talking with lies like lying to friends like that's what you should call it's actually a great just, idea. Like, yeah, that lying to your lies. friends and just turn that's this into idea. like a bullshit talking show where you just we're all no lie better to than Jimmy other. Fallon here, Rob. We're just <laughs> Honestly, no better than Fallon. I don't even want to laugh at that because I'm mad at you guys. <laughs> but people say we should call it the friend zone. We should call it the lie zone. The lie zone yeah, like the yeah. I am lies, Ju Judy. I I will tell you this. I am going to see it. Untrust. I am going to see it before Halloween. I promise you I will see it before this Halloween. I've been saving it as a treat, you. as a treat for myself. I've did been you saving see it. see the 2018 one at least? I did. I did. Yes. And I, I do. I did. I rem I can tell you how it ends. You know, you caught him in the jail underground and then you burned him up. And jail. It's not jail. It was under like the house. Cage. It was in the basement. It was a trap. It's like a yeah, yeah it's a trap. A, it's a trap. Lori Strode built a trap. Now, Judy, I will tell you this. Here's how yeah. big of a fan I am of the of the universe. I live in South Pasadena, where a lot of the original one was filmed, and um, I take my daughter to the little public library there to read books. And Lori Strode's house is right across the street from the Pasadena Library, and that family, they're so nice. They put a pumpkin on their um, porch. Every day of the year, so that people can like no. go there and take a picture. Yeah, oh, that's cute. Yeah, is that it's, um, by the way, a lie or is that true? No, no, that part's true. That's true. They do. They is have a pumpkin a, every every day? day. Every day, yeah. It must it's be plastic. plastic. I don't know how they do it. But. I, I want to say also to you that um, you know, look, this movie has become so gig. This movie is gigantic. It has a legacy from 1978 all the way here to 2021. I know, but I don't know if you knew about this, which is, did you know that they have um. Bratz dolls, Halloween Bratz dolls. Whoa. No. They, is that they is literally that made? Is that Judy? That, well, that's not Judy. That that's is, I, I believe, OG this is Lori. Yeah. That's mm. OG. That's 1978. But still, that they have a Bratz Michael Michael Myers. Oh my like, God. Because Michael Myers is kind of like a little bit cute. Like, he, he's a little smooth. He looks beautiful there. <laughs> he and his, hair is really his hair, he's got some Elvis <laughs> hair going on. He's like, beautiful. His eyebrows are so beautifully groomed. <laughs> they're mu his they're knife must is so shiny. His jumpsuit is cinched at the waist and kind of like <laughs> he has like a palazzo pant happening. <laughs> there must be a certain um, uh, population of the internet that kind of romanticizes Mike Myers. Like, I don't know what that is, where you are. Maybe it's the same people that are like drawn to prisoners or, uh, you know, that like, or, or not prisoners, but like murders that like write, you know, love letters to murders in prison and stuff like, 
Yeah. I, I, I feel like there's a lot of like erotic fan fiction probably about Mike Myers. And well, I, I, I don't, I haven't written any, but uh, I bet. I, I don't support even know it. all of it. I'm yeah. thrilled I haven't come across any of it. Yeah. And, um, she's not, and by the way, she's not asking for anyone to start to no. show her this part of the internet. We no. don't need to know that. Yeah, but no. it's fun to think that like people get off on like that guy because yeah. yeah. I don't know. It's well, it's interesting because you don't ever, you really have never heard him. Like you know, it's an, it, like it's a, it's a he purely speak. like. Yeah. yeah, and we just saw, we showed a video last week where there was a young girl turning uh, five years old, and her her hero was Michael Myers, and and yeah. she brought. She brought him to their birthday party and he hugged her. And he you was saw really that. I love that you saw that, Judy. That's so funny. Of course. Everyone said, sends me everything. I know. I sent it to David. Like, I sent it to David. You have he to was know like, that, like, this. Yeah. I, yeah. like, if, like, no one has, I, very rarely has someone seen something that I haven't also seen because everyone <laughs> sends me, like, look at this, my friend dancing in a Michael Myers mask. I'm like, yeah. yeah I know. And there's so much Michael Myers stuff out there. Like, there's, there's almost too much Michael Myers content because the mask is pretty simple. Like it's not like overly a complex costume. So I feel like that mask is going on in a lot of people's faces. Right. Hey, Everyone's a, got coveralls now. Wasn't it a little bit trippy that William Shatner went to space <laughs> uh, right uh, during Halloween and his face is the face of Mike Myers? Like that, there was some sort of weird, oh, we're in a matrix. Like we are definitely living in the matrix, I think. Yeah, I don't, that, know. I, don't I mean... Maybe I'm reading too much into it. No, yes. Okay. <laughs> but it is, that is good trivia. It is, the mask is, the original yeah. mask was yes. William Shatner's face. That's right. That's um, right. And, but and Judy. Can I, yeah. can I ask, I know, I know you have to go, Judy, because you have to cook some trout or something and no, knit. No trout. Uh, not trout. She's not going to eat trout. She's a vegan. <laughs> okay, sorry. I already had a, I had dinner already because it's, it's two hours after you guys yeah. Yeah. whatever time that is yeah i'm just curious if um is the guy in the mask is he um when you're in between setups yeah are you like doing bits with him like is he nice and cool or is he well, like all oh that's dancing michael myers videos are actually him and we've done that on set <sighs> And no, I'm kidding. Oh my God. No, but like, <laughs> also I enjoyed how long your mouth stayed open for. <laughs> um, I No, but it's just because James is an, like, he's a serious actor. He yeah, plays Michael yeah. Myers and he yeah. like takes his job very seriously. Right. And so yes. he tends to stick to himself on set. Yeah, but I, he's like like, that. Right. But I know. And it's, cool but also when you are working with him and there are like knives and stuff it's there he's like very compassionate and like careful but um no he's not trying to like he's like oh you know, god he's damn not it like the pelicans just to, lost like, the game like you know he's yeah. not like having that kind of no, small talk do people care about the pelicans i guess they are here yeah um i was gonna say uh they're playing the knicks on saturday um the he's not like pretending to like fuck everything like when he has the mask right. on like i feel like a yeah. lot of guys and girls. Yeah, that would... <laughs> in fact, I just found a picture of myself pretending that the scarecrow on the front porch is fucking me. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> what? um, what's wrong with me? And then I also have a picture of like me making the scarecrow on the front porch grab my boob. And I'm like, oh, which. Um, so there so was he's respectful to his character. Yeah. 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 He is. Judy, let me ask you two questions that the chat wants to ask, and we'll we'll, we'll let you go. We gotta uh, let her go. She, she <laughs> asked her. Are Very are you busy. coming back to Always Sunny? People want to see if you're coming Is back. To always, always Sunny, Sunny coming back. I think they're bad? always coming back. I feel like it's never yeah, ending. Yeah. It, like they, uh, but sorry. Right, so that's the answer to that. We don't know. It's a we don't know. We don't. Um, Yes, the other question, it. and the most important question is, and this is oh. something that Rob and I both learned when we were in New Orleans, is your house haunted? Have you had any hauntings in this New Orleans house? And that's a true, serious question because I do feel like every house comes with a little bit of like a, oh, and by the way, you know, the chimney yeah. is haunted. You know, do you have any <laughs> like anything like that? Um, there is an inexplicable broken window in my kitchen. Recently or, or continues since to I've, break? Since I've been here, a window broke. And like my landlord uh, texted me when I was at work and he was like, hey, are you working? The handyman's going to fix that window in your kitchen that broke. And I was like, oh, there's no broken window. And I know that like, I mean, windows break, but it's in a very, str it's actually, 
okay, it's like yeah. the top corner up there. Uh -huh. Ooh. Like but the toughest, that... cornerest window. But why is that, that haunted? Window. Isn't that just a broken what window? Doing? Or... Yeah, it's good. Uh, that one. <laughs> That's a good point. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, uh, I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> like whenever I try to take a picture of someone with no, like, I, 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 I here, so this looks like yeah. the signs on your head. Like I'm never, I'm like, oh. Anyway, back and you to did the it so hunting. confidently. It was such a confident, like it wasn't even a hesitation. Like you had to get your bearings. You just yeah. found it and you got it. When um, I'm going to point at so much shit behind me. I'm going to get really good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be like, this is my, this is where I keep my spaces. <laughs> That's ex oh. You're really good at that. You're real good at that. Okay. I would like to say that I believe that the window breaking was a was a haunting incident. Okay, and I, I think like it. I feel like it's a friendly situation. I just feel like someone, something, some being wanted me to remember that I was not here first. Okay, I like that. The and I'm okay with house. that. Yeah, I, I think good that's good to too. be reminded every now and then that we that there is a mystical mm -hmm. presence out there that can take us down at any given moment. Ooh, yeah, that's a, yeah I guess yes, but yeah. So it's not take us down. No, that makes it. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, and I have don't have alone yeah that's not nice. For a while, so. All right, yeah. All right. I, again, no, I think got too cool. dark. Yeah. Um. All right, Judy. This is so Judy. Thank you to. so much for talking Halloween to us. Halloween Kills is on and, um, Peacock right now, or yeah. in, your or local in theaters. Theater. Go yeah. see it in the theater. Go, Go see, see it in the theater. theater. You guys better people. have fucking seen it. We will. It we will. Next, next time. time. We, will. Back in a we year. will. We yes. will. And good luck on the on the mini series slash limited well, series. Yeah. <laughs> Those are flowers. <laughs> Leah, get on. Like, clear your name, Leah. If you are innocent, clear your name. Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> all right bye judy bye judy People love judy so oh, great man. so great that's so nice um paul uh, she's so much I, fun. I feel like you caved on that one you know i just feel like um i was doing i i think i had her tricked into thinking that we had seen it you know she was asking what our favorite part was I know, but she um, wasn't buying it, Rob. We I said, I said, it, we, I said all the running, and you know, she was like, "Well, you know, uh, no, I thought didn't. it was she didn't." She when she started asking me if I, she was going to come back, or and she was like, "What, well, my husband?" I like, I, I got really nervous, and I just freaked out. And I, after we had that terrible interview, uh, the first one, I, I, yeah, I may have choked. You know what? I guess I, I'm, I guess I'm wrecking the show. I guess I'm wrecking the show. And you well, know, what? I, I think the score is even because I, okay. I did, you know, I wrecked the first you know, whatever the first 30 minutes. And I would say you wreck the second 30 minutes. Well, everyone's saying Judy is too smart for us, by the way. Uh, I know that we couldn't have John Gimberling here today because of Matthew Stoffelis, but I, I will say that John, you got to plug his a, podcast. Yeah. His new podcast with one of our other favorite uh, people who come on the show all the time, Anthony Natalmanic. Uh, their show is uh, it's called the, I have to always make sure I'm reading it right. The phony and Collie show. And it's basically based on the conversations that Anthony and John have there. You live cross country from each other. And it's like, that's the premise of it. Uh, it can be listened to and subscribed on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcast. It's called The Phony, uh, P-H-O-N-E-Y, and Collie Show. It's a hard one to type in, but once you find it, you're going to be there. And you can get, get you can follow them at uh, Phony Collie on Twitter and on Instagram. I'm excited. Um, I'm excited about that. It's a podcast. great podcast. It just started, and it's really, really funny. Um, also... Rob, I know we have our next guest lined up, but I want to just because we've oh, we got to get to some of these costumes, right? Yeah, yeah. we got to see a couple of these costumes. I'm just going to have Evan just hold for one second because Evan yeah. is great, but I want I know we have been people waiting here. So Molly, can you walk us through some of the did live we give, people that we did have? We get, did we give enough? Wait a second. What is happening? Oh, sorry. Oh, is this happening. is uh, we're Thelma and Louise. Whoa, this Molly, is, double costumes. This yes. is... Yeah why we win awards this right here yeah. is the content paul yes okay. this is molly what's your dog's name birdie birdie, birdie. what a birdie. sweetheart um that's amazing thelma and louise oh uh, great about, costume, about to molly. drive off the cliff okay Whoa. sorry we i'm just getting right into the discord yeah, here. this is another yeah. picture for you guys for somebody that could not be here this is lola who uh it belongs to that's not the right word who lives with jack rhapsody in the discord okay oh, we love jack 
And then um, I'm just going to go ahead and. Is that dog? Is that dog cool with wearing the devil horns? I'm not sure that he he's into it. I can't tell whether he's enjoying this or his owner is. Uh, I guess she does, but Jack did say he didn't understand why his mom was putting the dog in a chokehold. Okay. Yeah, well, sometimes to get the dog's face the right way, you gotta you gotta really manipulate them, and uh, you know they they don't like yeah. it. But not Birdie. Look at Birdie. Birdie was no, uh, Birdie's Birdie's ready. Birdie is like ready to go. Birdie's a star. Okay, I'm gonna pop out, and we're gonna go uh, straight Do into it. Falcor. Falcor. Yeah. Okay, here's Falcor's costume. I'm excited about this. Hi, Falcor. Hi. How are you? Hello. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> uh, so good to see you. So, what is your costume? Uh, so the class pet is in my house right now, but he kind of yes. fell asleep. Uh, this is Falcor, the, the bearded dragon. Yes, pumpkin, what? Pumpkin but he's he's asleep. I brought <laughs> I put him to bed, and I was just like, you know. Oh, yeah, I so. love that Falcor can just be asleep. Like how comfortable Falcor is just hanging uh, out like that. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so Does hopefully Falcor... the chat is not worried about my bearded dragon, but it is like bedtime. Yeah. Does he normally is he at a different energy level? Like would he be running around? Like how do I can't quite tell the difference between him being asleep and awake? Uh so like he took a big dump before this. Okay. So like I uh, sorry. So uh and he gets like really energized after that because he's like me too. I have yeah, exactly. me oh, too. one load yeah. off. Yeah. 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 Me too. Um, that's great. And that what's amazing. Costume, I'm so did you, you, did you make that or did you buy that at a store? For uh, I dragons? bought it because last year in the pandemic, I had students who were like, dress up the Falcor, dress them up. So they had a whole like contest to see which one I would buy. And how I, old are, how old are your students? What grade? Uh, they're seventh graders. So they're like 13. Okay. And where are you? I forgot. I'm in North Carolina. I'm in Charlotte. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Awesome. Awesome. You are the cool, cool teacher who actually listens to their kids and yeah. gets the, the Falcor all dressed up. I love it. I'm so happy that you dressed up Falcor for us to see it. And now will Falcor be wearing that in? Oh, oh in wait, wait, he's awake. Oh, he's awake. yes, he's awake. Wait, what a difference! Ready. What a difference! <laughs> look at look at his personality. Yeah, now yeah. you get to see really it. Tell he's Falcor, he's you a wink. Yeah. Falcor, how was that dump, buddy? How oh, was man. your was dump, pretty. sir? What do you do with it? Do you throw it? Do you flush it? What is it? How big is it? Uh, well, this one was like pretty large. Usually okay. it's like, I don't know, uh, like a few raisins or something big. And then, okay. you know, like I have like, some, I, I, I always play with this thinking putty when I'm on the show. It's not this big, right? Oh, no, 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 okay. no, no. No, that's way too, that's no, giant. No, not at all. Like it wouldn't fit in him, that. That. No, yeah. yeah, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, I don't know anything about bearded dragons. I'm also the no. science teacher, so sorry if I talk too much about, like, you know, his waist and stuff. But that's no, all I'm it is. My, my daughter pooped today and then took a look at it, and she said, that's just old food. And I said, it is. Right. it's just old food. Yeah, I like that. And yeah, then you I said, like eat it. Uh, no, the agree. all right. So, Rob, this is great. Thank you. Okay, so bye. Much. Nice to see you. Bye. bye. Let's, you oh, know what? Paul, Maybe we should do Paul, is you gotta let them down easy. You can't drop people oh. that hard. Well, I mean, what you know, Molly, we'll we'll come back to the costume contest in one second because I don't want to keep our guest waiting because our guest tonight. This is the first time we've had this guest. Can, on can Rob, I be clear yeah. about the costume contest? Is it is it the is it a contest? Is there a cash prize? There's not a cash prize. It's just a, okay. it's a it's a parade. It's a parade, okay. and I feel is it like a parade for pets or people. I feel like we're gonna see a lot of pets. Uh, okay. I feel like I'm, that's my gut is that we're gonna see some pets. I, I know that we're gonna have another. Re We've actually have two recurring pets. Falcor was one. Uh, okay. We met Falcor a little while ago and in Parade of Pets, and then we are gonna meet another one. I know it's coming up, and we've already met the one with that was strangled uh, by Jack's uh, mom. <laughs> uh, Rob, our next guest is. Uh, is just fantastic. And you may not know his name, or maybe you do, uh, but he has been behind some of the biggest and best shows. Uh, he is a composer uh, for shows like Mr. Show with Bob and David, SpongeBob SquarePants, mm -hmm. The Lego Movie, yep. uh, The Master, Comedy yep. Bang Bang. Um, let's see what else. I'm trying to think of uh, The Birthday Boys, Drunk History, Moral Oral, uh the, any the, the, great comedy show any great comedy any show. great comedy show uh they've been the father of the pride uh i i feel like i i feel like i know them in my head and i also don't want to like mislabel them drawn together stand versus evil 
uh those who can't little big awesome i'm looking right here so many great great shows and we are the so pod, lucky the to pod have f tomcast the pot yeah exactly we have so many great things so the thrilling welcome. adventure hour yes all of these things are true please welcome eben schletter yeah. hey, hey. Oh, I'm just hanging out. This is what I do all day. I could not do that. I have a piano, and you guys are talking about Halloween. Hello. I love I know. it. I love it. I feel like that would be one of the best. I mean, at this time of year, everyone's going to be excited if you if you went and did that by a piano. I feel like that. Like we want to hear it. That's like that's one of the best. I mean, that song is so good. And John Carpenter, who composed most of his music for I think every movie, but like uh, Big Trouble so. in Little yeah. China, um, like. What do you think of him as a composer? I mean, just out of, I mean, because John Carpenter, great director, but do you think he's a great musician? I do. I, I uh, when I was in high school, he was a huge idol of mine. I was making like super eight films and I wanted to be like him, would do the music and make movies. And yeah. Stuff. Make cool. movies with my friends and score them with a little, you know, super eight projector and record live because you'd have a little sound stripe on the projector. Old, yeah. Ancient technology. But, um, <laughs> but I loved his stuff and, um, yeah, I mean, to me, my favorite of his scores is Escape from New York. That that's oh, is you're right, so cool. He's uh, I mean, Halloween, he's, of course, is great, but Escape from New York. He's so synthy and interesting. Like he's going around now touring, and I remember watched one interview with him, and he's just smoking. And he's not making video games he's anymore. Touring? But he'll tour. I mean, not right the second, but he was touring. Like he was, he played the Hollywood Bowl. Just him playing his music and it's like awesome. and yeah. some of it is like it, like i think the album was called and i'm misquoting it but it's like uh scores for movies that i didn't make you know it's like it's a sort of like these like he's like oh this is in my head but i don't have the movie for it like that kind of stuff as well cool. uh, but he smokes and plays video games now i think that's all he kind of <laughs> does and he's like very happy to be like just a gamer who's <laughs> like yeah yeah yeah, let those kids make it awesome. um no i love Evan, him yeah i know that you also first of all I, we'll talk a little bit about your career, but I also know that you are uh, such a big, you love the Halloween. I mean, you love Halloween. You're, you're a Halloween guy, right? I mean, this is, some people are, some people aren't. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and you did something for me at Largo with a theremin. And if you've never seen a theremin, I, I well, I don't, I'll, I'll let you kind of explain even what it is, but the way I, I'll let you kind of just set up what you're going to do with this theremin because it's actually very, very cool. It's fine. It's a, so it's a, I don't know if you can see in my dark light here. I have a flashlight if you want to. Yeah. This is an antenna yeah. here, metal antenna, and there's like a box. Whoa. This one was signed by Bob Moog right here. The, oh, I got wow. a signature edition and I was shocked. You know how usually you get a signature edition guitar and it comes out of the factory yeah. with a stamp? But this yeah, one, yeah. You smell the lacquer and it's like, oh yeah, because they probably make like five of these a year because how many theremin <laughs> plays? <laughs> About yeah, five. like who's like the theremin is not getting a lot of use. Like it's, it's, no. it's like yeah, it's like <laughs> more in recent like, years, but still, it's not exactly like you know. Um, and there's the other antenna here. That's yeah. Um, so basically, it's like it's well, I've, I've said before, uh, it's the first electronic instrument, and then always be someone chiming in saying this other one came first, but those were never mass produced. This was the first one that actually like the patent was 1928. Um, Leon Theremin was trying to invent an alarm. So like someone would walk by it and you'd, you'd know someone had walked in your door. Oh, and then wow. he realized that it would actually make a good instrument. So the way it works is with this antenna's pitch, I'm kind of cheating right now. I have a volume pedal. Normally, okay, this is the volume. So like when my hand is right close, you hear nothing. And then when I back it away, it gets louder. So that's how it works is this is volume and this is pitch. And and you never Whoa. tell. I mean, it's just two oscillators in here. I'm not an electronics whiz, so I don't know exactly how that works. But but there's <laughs> an electronic field that you're interrupting, and the closer you get to it, the more the oscillator you know spins. So it translates wow. into a higher frequency or a quieting. So that's. And what did you guys do? You guys did something with it live at Largo. He's going to do it for you now, I believe. I yeah, think I'll do it for you now. Uh, in the spirit of Halloween. I like to play this one. It turned out to be a fun thing on, turned out to be, a, I don't know if you're hearing it when I turn away. Uh, this is a piece of music that was used in one of my favorite movies, The Shining, in the end credits. So, should I just jump in? Yeah, yeah let's do it. 
People were just freaking Dude, out. That, that was amazing. Was so crazy. That's the craziest Thank thing you. I've seen. That's so cool. It it's was a- like it was so beautiful to watch. And it was like so fun to watch your hands do it too. Like you did the way you got in there. Oh, how long did it take to learn to play the theremin? Uh, for me, it was, it was years. And actually I, I got one, I was working on a low budget movie and I thought, um, it would be a great instrument. Actually, the person who turned me on to what a theremin is, is Dana Gould. I was doing him and I did a a theme for a show he did a long time ago. We had another theremin player play it for that because I had no idea. And, Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, so uh, uh, I got it. I had the theme all worked out. I mailed away, ordered this thing. And I was like, what did I do? Because it was so hard to play. I, did, I had to yeah. pop this melody like 70 times. And I had to change what I did in the film to a comedy. Anyway, so after that, I was like, I don't know if I can play this. And then every once in a while, I'd trot it out and mess around. And it was probably like four years of just tinkering with it. And then I right. got just to the point where I went, you know what, maybe now if I practice, I could actually get good. So it's hard to say because I wasn't really regularly, you know, there was like a four year period of just tinkering with it. And then I started taking it seriously. And then it was probably a couple years after that before I could get to like where I'm doing what I do now. It was hard because you have to stay super still. And that was the hardest yeah. thing. Just yeah, holding that's... a note. I'm sitting, so it's kind of weird because I usually stand, but it's in a way it's easier to keep still because because if when you breathe, like your arms move. So like if you're holding mm-hmm. a note and you just inhale, you hear it go, it'll get sharp or ah. wow, whatever you do, we'll throw it and it'll just have that like weird flat. And so it's, which and was kind of good. It was like meditating. I've never been able to meditate. I'm kind of high strung. And this was the closest thing because you had to kind of like be the melody or something. And it was really. A and head- you are, and you are like a multi intro, you know, you play many instrument, right? And would you say this is the hardest one to kind of learn and master or was like, because it's like the idea that you like it always feels like oh if you can play this you can play that like uh you know it's but yeah well is it the hardest one that you had to do or i would say yes and no because yes in terms of getting to the point where i felt like i could actually play in front of people and not be embarrassed it was the hardest to get to that point but it's easier for me than most other instruments now and and i think the kind of proof of it is like every other thing i play I know a hundred guys who are 10 times better. <laughs> you right. Know, you can get right. in the session. I know so many better piano players, so many better guitar players. I can get around and all that stuff. But but this one, it's just a it's, it's a smaller pool already. But I feel like it it was the instrument that just kind of like I you don't have to worry about the exact fingering. It doesn't matter what key you're playing in because it's all right. relative. Like if I learn something on the piano and then you go to the show. And it's like somebody else is singing. Like, Can you transpose that up? You know, a step and a half. And, it's yeah. like, oh, and then I'm clam central because I don't know, you know. <laughs> right. But here, right. it's no big deal because it's all literally just relative, you know. That and is so you, fascinating, man. And but you've worked, funny. you've worked, like, I mean, in the comedy world, you have worked on so many things and so many great things and with so many great comedians. And I also feel like, Comedians are very specific about what they want and how they want stuff done. What was your break into this world? Because it feels to me like you came in and because everyone knows how awesome you are, it's like you, the recommendation, you can almost see like the recommendation from people to people to people. It's like, that's how you know that you are, you're good. Your career is basically, you know, like everyone just saying, you got to hire this guy. Like it, Everyone knows that you are the go-to guy. Like, And especially in comedy, which I think is really hard because it's like, how do you do something that, is additive without being like comedic, but it's also, it's like a, it's a tricky line. Like how did you get involved in this, this whole thing? Uh, well, I started off, I was in a band with Greg Barrett and Laura Milligan and Jim okay. Earl. <laughs> That's crazy. And I, and I was just the drummer. Um, and I was in a bunch of bands in the Bay area, punk rock bands and stuff. And honestly, at the time I was like the funny guy. It was a total goofball. I actually had at one point this guy, wanted to manage me as a comedian and have me do cruise ships. And that's when I really learned to respect comedy because I took it seriously. I thought about it. And my greatest gift to comedy is that I didn't do it because I was <laughs> so bad because, you know, I realized it's like, yeah, I make a lot of people laugh, my friends, but right. I took that thing that made my friends laugh and took it on stage. It would just be like, yeah, I guess you had to be there, buddy. Cause it's not. So, <laughs> and, then, and so that band, um, Laura Milligan came down to LA with Greg Barrett, started doing these weekly shows. 
uh, at this place called Tantrum. And that was like the early alternative comedy days. And um, and that group of people, it eventually split up with like Mr. Show came out of that. Yeah. Uh, that's how I met David Cross and then Bob Odenkirk and a bunch of people I met through doing those. But the thing that was interesting was, and I think it's what helped me doing comedy music and being like the civilian guy is I gained so much respect for it. And it kind of changed my personality because I was such, again, I was the goofball, really kind of right. odd and, and jokey. And then all of a sudden I'm hanging around with these legitimately funny people. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to shut up because <laughs> <laughs> hey, I can imitate Yoda. Look at me. You know, no, no. <laughs> I, said, like, Brill I was just like my, it was in, it's just fascinating to see legitimately like uh, creatively funny people who can just be funny in a conversation. And that, that really wasn't me. I can't, you know, I could goof off when I'm drunk with my friends, but I can't right. do like turns of phrase and just observation. Yeah. Yeah. So I would just sort of sit in the background then and just, you know what, I'm going to play my stuff and support what they're doing and get out of the way. And, and I think that really helped a lot. That meant that mindset towards comedy helped a lot because if you're trying too hard and also part of it is, you know, I, I didn't realize how much I loved comedy. I didn't think of myself as a comedy nerd. And then I looked back on it and went, what do you mean you're not a comedy nerd? I was, I was holding the cassette recorder up to like the San Francisco big laugh off to record people and stuff. Wow. It's like, I didn't think I was like a comedy fan. I just liked it. And I didn't think of myself, like I didn't go see a lot of shows and stuff. Um, although I did one night go bar hopping by myself and ended up at the Holy City Zoo in San Francisco. And that was a mind blower. I was like watching like an open mic night. I think I was the only guy there who wasn't a comedian sitting in the back and <laughs> marveling again at how it's like, these guys are all alone up there. I've played really bad gigs with bands yeah. where like, there was one show we had where, uh, the guy whose band it was, I was just drumming again. It, it was like, you finish a song, dead silence. And he would just go. Thank you for that lovely round of indifference. And then we'd go into the next song. <laughs> we had each other, you know? We're just like, all right, yeah. we played the song and we had each other and you never felt like awkward. But when you're up, I'm just watching these guys when they would when they would tank and I'd go, oh my God, my heart goes out for all these guys. <laughs> well, you, you, are, you are absolutely amazing. And you also create your own music. And I want to tell people that uh, that there's something really cool that you did. And if you've never seen this movie called The Cabinet of Dr. Calgary, you actually scored it. And one of the cool things that I don't think people know about uh, a lot of silent films is like they don't know what the original score was or they get lost or people do their own thing so you have a you have a score to the cabinet of dr calgari and if you've never seen that film it's really really good and uh it's so cool that you have a score for that as well yeah, so, yeah. sorry this one is not actually the original oh. silent either right oh, oh okay well this, i'm sorry i made a mistake sorry no not really because it's super close to the original they tried to be i'm sorry some stupid window opened up here and it's getting right. in my way i can't see what no, I don't care about your flash player right now. Leave me alone. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, it was a, it was like what he called was a, a remix. So he okay, actually got it. the original print and made back plates and then shot on a green screen. And so it was kind of like going back in time, still black and white. It's, it's not quite like, it's not shot for shot like that psycho remake. Okay. Got it. But it's, it's, I mean, like, if you, still from it, you would totally think it was just the original for the most part. Okay. Past. Um, that's where I met Damon Crawl. He played Caligari. And that was one of my contributions to Paul's Tomcast was, you know, hooking him up with da with Damon yeah. Crawl to be one of the uh to be his announcer guy. He's a great guy and he's got this great voice. And I ended up working with him on my own stuff when I did I did my Witching Hour album. He's like the warlock voice on it, and he's really great, really talented. Well, guy. talk to us about this witching hour because right now it's the 13th anniversary of this yeah. album. And we're going to hear two songs from the witching out uh, from the from the album. Uh, but tell us what we need to know about it. You can get by the way, you can see it all in the chat right now. You can go over to uh, Evan's page on Bandcamp and you can listen to all this sort of stuff and check out all this stuff. Uh, but the witching hour is a great this is a great album for a great time of year. But tell us a little bit about uh, this. Uh, it, it started off just at, at the first. Well, I had a song called Zombie Man that I recorded in my 20s on a four track. And that was just sitting there. It's really goofy song and that was sitting there and then years later i came up with this song devil doll and it was about a guy being chased by a doll that's kind of inspired by the trilogy of terror doll um, <laughs> and then it just hit me like uh i started thinking oh maybe i'll make a little ep of halloween songs and i started writing some other stuff and then suddenly i realized 
you know, if Paul Tompkins did this Devil Doll song, that would be so much better. And then I started writing more. And then there's another one I started working on, one of the ones that I'll do for you guys. I was like, oh my God, if Jill Sobiel sang this, it would be awesome. And I just start because I was doing a lot of Paul's, you know, the Paul of Tompkins show at Old Largo. Yeah. And, you know, starting to get to know all these other musicians and stuff. And um, and it just started coming together. And I went, I think I don't want this just to be a collection of spooky songs. I think I want it to be an actual concept album where there's like an underlying lore to it that you may not get if you just listen to it as a collection of songs. But there's connections and there's like an underlying story. And I, I started thinking of, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the the book, The Spoon River Anthology. I think it's Ed Green. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So how how in that book it's it's poems and each poem is an epitaph and it tells the story of the town and you get like the relationships of different people yeah. all the different epitaphs and so uh, it I started thinking of it like that like it's not super blatant but it's each song is a story of someone and the sort of cornerstone song ended up being this song about this haunted lake where I figured that's sort of the uh, the Venn diagram thing of all the so of all yeah. the, this weird haunted lake and so i yeah i came up as like this concept thing and uh performed it live at largo i wanted to do it as like a live performance like on solstices it wasn't just going to be a halloween thing but um yeah anyway it came you know eventually came together and and uh it was great fun doing it and i i couldn't believe every single person almost there was a couple exceptions of people that I asked to do it that weren't able to but uh i got all my like first choice people grantley phillips sings of He's got such a beautiful voice. There's a song he does. Mm -hmm. One of my regrets, though, honestly, is not having Paul on other, because the song that I have Paul on, it's more of a speaking song, not a singing. Got it. And he can really sing. So it's kind of like, well, I underused him on that. But <laughs> with Scott Ackerman, there's a song with Scott Ackerman that's kind of a speaking song. Again, another one where it's like, oh, I wish Scott, I Scott has a beautiful voice. Scott has yeah, a beautiful he, singer. He, he actually he can, can really sing, sing really well, but... This is, but this is great. So the Witching Hour, the Witching Hour album is available, and you can listen to it at Bandcamp. And we're gonna now hear, we're gonna let you uh, take it away with these two songs here. I'm very excited yes. to to hear them. Here we go. And uh, I hope I don't screw up. So I've never played this one. It's always Jill Sobiel doing it. Okay, great. <laughs> so let's see what happens. And I'm doing it. Whoa, in a different way. We'll see what happens. But this is the song from which you get the the connective tissue of the album. tell some folks think there's a graveyard beneath it others say it's a gateway to hell there was even talk of a serpent beast like the one of old Loch Ness but there's never been a verified sighting it's empty rumor at best some say it's a crater filled with witches tears some say it's a demon's bath so many tragedies over the years woe to those who end up in the path of Laguna Lock whether there's an actual curse or not one thing is for sure, many a soul has disappeared once taken in by the lake's allure. Fishing trips never returned from, swimmers never heard from again. Supposed drownings, bodies never found. They tried dragging the lake, but the bottom was too far down. Some say it's a crater filled with witches' tears. Some say it's a demon's bath. So many tragedies over the years. Woe to those who ever who end up on a path to the frigid waters of the turgid wake of the grim, forsaken, haunted lake of Laguna Lock. The witch's tears myth 
has been traced to events of 1798. Thirteen women cured folks of the fever in a most ungrateful town. Accused of practicing occult black magic, they were tied to stones and drowned. And so they say from that day still the enchanted dead exert their will from deep within the water's chill. Eternal vengeance bears to take upon those unfortunate souls who make their way to the dark and dreaded lake of Laguna Lock. Some say it's a crater filled with witch's tears. Some say it's a demon's back. So many tragedies over the years. Woe to those who end up on a path to the dreary, dim, and ghastly tomb where countless souls have found their doom to sink forgotten to the bottom of the frigid waters and the turgid wake of the grim, forsaken, haunted lake of Laguna Lock. I love it. This is so good. All right. Here we go. Well, now we're going to a backing track. Got a new song coming up. And we're going to see our final costume contest. This is really what a show. What a show. <laughs> Step right up, if you so dare, for a freaky, fantastical scare. In all the netherworlds, underworlds, and other worlds, there's nothing that quite can compare to the six headed siren. The Lizard Boy's ghost. Hey, how you doing? Dr. Frankenstein's monster. <laughs> We've got phantoms, phantasms, poltergeist wraiths, and hundreds more hideous hosts. <laughs> Step right up for the chilliest chills. The Thrilliest thrills of them all! Caligari's crooked carousel and fiendish Freddy's free fall! Ride the zombie man zipper! The Laguna Lock loop! And Freakazoid's fury! Take a spin through a flurry and a blurry loop de loop through a chute and land in the boogeyman soup. <laughs> Evan, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for making this welcome. spooky season great for us. Uh, what a fun, fun thing. That was awesome. Great production. Thanks Best production value me. we've ever had. Happy costume right. contest. Looking forward to it. I know. It's so good. Thanks, Evan. I'll see you later. Wow, that was awesome, everybody. Um, by the way, Rob is not here uh, right now because he had to go put his kid down, and that's okay. Oh, uh, we no, don't, no, no. Sorry, oh. sorry, my computer just went down, so uh -oh. I had to restart it. That's why the, the lighting. Oh, different. hey, Rob, what's going on? Okay, well, great. Yeah. You know, Rob, I'm glad that you're here because um, we wanted to also plug that you have a show tomorrow night, the Ghost okay. Story Show. So tell us a little bit about what happened to the Ghost Story Show, Rob. Absolutely. So I put a, a call out on my Instagram. It's at Rob yeah. People. Uh, you know it's me because it's got that little blue check because, you know. Yeah, of course. You got to have boy. that. Of course, verified. Absolutely. So I put a call out. People send me their stories about their real life ghost experiences. Sorry, I got to play with my little putty. Yeah, um, you're, yeah, your putty. Yeah, Everyone yeah, yeah. About your putty. Uh, they they tell me real life ghost stories. They come on the channel, same channel that you're at right now, same time, right 5 p.m. Tomorrow, tomorrow. And uh, I just interview them. I'll be in my spooky. Uh, and you've had some supernatural. You've had some real supernatural occurrences on here, right? That's right. Yeah, I was speaking with a woman who was talking about a ghost named Kevin, and in the interview, uh, the ghost attacked her, and then shortly thereafter, I heard some weird sounds in my own garage. Ooh, all right. I love this. All right. Well, this is this is exciting. Uh, Rob, I'm so happy you're here. But, uh, but you know what? We still have a member of our costume contest that has not, not yet been on the screen. And this is a recurring guest or returning guest. Well, actually, um, you know, uh, producer Molly did tell me that we have two people. Uh, oh, great. 
first up, you want to yeah. yeah yeah i'll let you know first up we're going to go to Meigs, and then we're going to finish up with uh hattie oh uh, great hattie the pirate dog which we love hattie the pirate dog but we love yeah. Meigs too so let's meet let's see what Meigs. Is. Meigs. Hey, Meigs. Yes. yes all right loving this costume yes 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 That's is great. This... <laughs> yes full this is body scary. using it all so good Meigs, tell us is this uh, is this just is there any backstory to this cat is there any uh, yeah what do we need to know or no is it just a cat the can you hear me yes yes okay the backstory is that my husband and i both don't really like wearing costumes very much and we don't ever sure. put that much effort into it and so like five years ago we were like oh shoot we need a costume and we went to target and they had a onesie in both of our sizes like this and um so we just went with it and so this has been my costume every year since Amazing. wow so this, how many years are you in on this costume i i think it's like five i don't really remember like I the exact year that, that we bought them but i appreciate like a a, a go-to costume i'm oh like i'm i have a costume that's like this and i'm very excited about this one because this year my son wanted me to be a dog he's gonna be a pug <laughs> and i'm gonna be another dog with him and i <laughs> got so exactly cute. what you're wearing like a dog version of this and i was like i uh -huh. out. like it's so much yeah. more comfortable it's like i'm yeah. in pajamas i'm just gonna put on some shoes and i'm gonna be i'll be yeah. thrilled i'm it's so great. snuggly and I yeah. don't have to think at all about it. All I have to do is just pull it out and then just zip it up. Zip it, it's, up. it is perfect. Yeah. Now, me, my dog. You... Oh, have oh, you guys sorry. washed? Have you washed your costumes since you've gotten them? Honestly, do you... I don't know because we've only worn them for a couple hours. <laughs> so, yeah, you, don't need, you don't need to. Wash I don't think that we have. No, we might. Yeah. We might this year because I have to wear this at work all day tomorrow. Uh, okay. This is the first time that I'll have a job where I like have to wear it. I don't have to. They let, guess, they, but yeah, they, but they're, everyone's doing it. Do you think that people are going to go yeah. overboard tomorrow? Okay, so let me tell you what's happening tomorrow. So yeah, I think everybody's going to like. A lot of people are going to get really into it. A lot of people yeah. at work um, really like to dress up, which is fine. But my boss asked if I would be interested with in um, doing a performance with him and one of the other coworkers, and they were like. They, he brought me into his office and he was all like, Megan, we have something that we want to do. And I just want to know if you're interested. And uh, he was like beating around the bush and like being all nervous about it. And I was like, just what is it? It's it's fine. I'll probably do it. And he was like, well, we want to perform as an 80s rock band to some 80s rock song. And we need a third person. And I was like, well, I'm actually really good at lip syncing. So you lucked out um, by choosing me. And. So we're performing to TNT by a band called ACDC tomorrow. And I have this a guitar. Oh my I have God. Wow. a guitar. I'm the guitarist. I'm not the lead singer. My boss is going to be the lead singer. Um, and uh, he was practicing today and he was getting really into it. So I feel oh like me and this whole costume God. is going to be nothing you know that's great so, you already I, got the baby's hair built in and i told them i was like my costume is going to be a lion is that going to work and they're like actually that would be like perfect if we did that and so i'm just going to be like rocking out a lot i don't know how to rock out actually so I, it's, i don't know how well I'm this all, is going to turn I'm out but i'm really board. excited i love where you work i don't even know anything about it this sounds great <laughs> I want to hear how it all turns out, but thank you for waiting around. Thank, thank you for you. showing us your costume. It's thank so, you. so good. Okay. All right, Rob, what do we got? What do we got? Uh, next up, we have Hattie, Miss Hattie, who's been on the stream before. Hi, Hattie and Aaron. Hi. Hattie. Hi. Hi. Hattie the pirate dog. We've been following you yes. on Instagram since we last met you. Yes. How is Hattie doing? Hattie's doing fantastically. We moved um, coast to coast since we last spoke to you. So she's about to experience her first like actual winter. So oh, wow. I have a lot of coats for her and um, we both have a lot of anxiety. Oh, yeah. I mean, I can imagine that's going to be it, it. You know what? I will say that winter is a really good. There are just some things. I mean, I've come from the East Coast. And I love a nice winter and it like it, it even I think a change of seasons is good. It gives you something to do. Talk about go embrace, sit in the house, leave the house. It, it gives you all, all new adventures. As a human, that's, actually, that's absolutely correct. As a dog, that means not wanting to pee outside. 
when it I hear cold. that. And then, so, look, when it rains, I couldn't even get my dog out of the door yeah. yesterday. It was a light mist here, yeah. Uh, Will she refuse to go out in the rain or the cold, or have we her yet? She, she yeah. takes, like, two um, steps out and then realizes what's happening and then does, like, the Homer Simpson into the hedge. <laughs> and, yeah. um, and then I have to, like, carry her out, and then I feel terrible. But um, no. I'm also so, yeah, Hattie, Hattie will adapt. I, I feel I feel like it will happen, maybe. She's also, maybe. she looks like she's, like, stoned. She had a very long day at daycare. Oh, oh so she's oh. had a fun. She played a lot. She played her heart out, yeah. Oh. By the way, yeah. she looks great. She looks great, and I love that. So she can be good at daycare. So she can be playing at daycare. That's oh, I've heard that ha that Hattie has played with uh, Birdie. Molly and Birdie. I know. I've heard about Birdie's, this, too. Yes, yeah. they've, been to, they've been to dog parks in L.A. Yeah, they told me that she wouldn't be okay with other dogs ever. So she's a good one. But um, I love it. And what I, I can't really fully see what the costume is. Is it a carrot? Oh, so by trade, she's a pirate. But by okay, yes, costume, she's um, a dinosaur. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. So this, is, this is what's happening right now with my dog. Oh. Oh my gosh, Hattie I love it. So cute. Oh, that is now, great. Real quick question, Aaron. Do you yeah. uh does Hattie wear shoes when you're gonna go out? Well, do you plan on wearing shoes when you go out in the rain and wear shoes? Because I live in a, I, I uh we live in DC now, so they salt you know the roads. Yeah, yeah, you gotta keep I, I don't want gap between your toes. I don't wanna have I don't wanna um traumatize her any more than she already has been. So <laughs> So you've already I, mentioned her do you need Rex because again I need I, Rex actually I like I desperately need recommendations for the, the like snowshoes and perfect. All right, so people in the Discord, you can go in the Discord, leave some notes about dog shoes and, yeah. and stuff like that. Make sure we know what's going on there. Uh I love this. I'm so happy that you shared this costume with us. I'm excited about your time in DC. So far, how has it been? You enjoying it? I mean, I know anxiety is high, but yeah. so far so good or where we so at? far, so good. Um, changing seasons, you know, n things aren't on fire. Um, yeah, you can breathe in air. It's good. Rain. Yeah, yeah. Um, California and at heart, but um, you, uh, you know, with both of us, but uh, happy in DC. Yeah, I love it. It's so great to see you again. Thank, thank you, so you so much. much. This awesome. is so so good. Yes. Uh, all right. Well, thank you. you. Thank you to everybody who joined in in the costume party tonight. This has been amazing. Rob, so great to to be with you here. We had a big show. John Gemberling, his brand new podcast, uh, The Phony and Collie Show, available wherever you get your podcast. Judy Greer, Halloween Kills in theaters great and movie. streaming on Peacock. Great movie. Loved it. Loved it. And great. Eben Schletter, you amazing. can listen to The Witching Hour on Bandcamp. You can find him wherever. Eben is uh, super talent, and you could just check out all of his music. You could just type in his name to uh, the Google search machine, and you'll find out all the great places he is. And he has collections of songs from different things he's worked on. Um, and oh, of course, our producer, Molly. Yeah. Pound for pound, this was one of our best shows ever. Rob, you oh, you know what, Rob? I agree with you 100%. Pound for pound, this is one of our best shows. Thanks so much for watching Thursdays with Rob and Paul. If you like what you saw, subscribe. If you want to watch it live, join the chat, join our Discord. You can do that. Just go to twitch.tv slash friendzone to watch us live every Thursday, 5 to 7. And our Discord is discord.gg slash Paul Shear. But make sure you like, subscribe. I think it's a button here or there or wherever. And uh, we'll see you next week for another cut down recap of Thursdays with Robin Paul.